Hello everyone in peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and let us have some good time together as you see we change the title but still we will speak about the previous topic in the same time I was looking at my email in uh, you know this usually this account I don't open the email ready for it and uh, I receive an email from YouTube YouTube the email saying Hi Christian friends, we have received legal complaint from the government entity regarding your content after review the following contact has blocked from view on YouTube countryside. Video, my free gift for 131.3 sorry, billion Indian, the deception of Allah. Link in the info. And this content has been blocked from view on the following YouTube country, Pakistan. Victory. You see, they think this is how stupid they are. I mean, we have a country, it's called Pakistan, and they have nuke. They have what? They have nuke. They are afraid of my book. You know, if Islam is really is a strong religion and the Quran is a miracle, it's amazing. Uh, even a pimp convert to Islam. <laughs> and they are proud about the pimp. <laughs> this is not the first time, not the second time, not the third time, not the fourth time. I mean, this government of Pakistan, they have, you know, people, they have no place to sleep in. They have a flood. The country bankrupt. They have, you know, trillions of dollars in debt. They have war with India. They don't know what to do. They have no jobs. People, they have no electricity, no water, no clean water. Villages have no schools. But the government of Pakistan, they are worried about my book. Hmm. No, this is I received many before. If I search the word Pakistan in my email, I will find tons of those. But this is what it's important about what we do. You see, this is why I'm very thankful for the ones who I do not know. They translated my book into uh, foreign languages, all of them. And we gave them for free. Uh, you know, for sure, I can make a lot of money from selling my books, as you know. And, you know, uh, if I make a dollar from each book for such a huge countries like India, etc., I will make a lot of money. But I always prefer that as long the Lord, he provide me with, with my need, I'm rich and I'm more than good to go. You do not need more than you need, right? So the Lord is our provider and we care for, for saving the life of people and changing their life. And we want Pakistan to be an, a, a wonderful country in the future. We don't hate the people of Pakistan, uh, for sure not. Because if we hate them, we will not give them, I will not give them my books for free, you know. They are victims of a very hateful cult. It's called Islam. And this is why we are trying to save them. However, government who don't want you to read you ask yourself, what kind of government is that? The Muslim, they say, they quote for you a false hadith. They say, the prophet, he said, seek knowledge even in China, which is very funny statement Muslims, they say, when their prophet himself do not know how to read Arabic and he do not need to go to China to learn it. He just go and ask his uncle to teach him how to read. So Islam is a religion against knowledge and they don't want you to read. And if Islam is a strong religion, why we need the protection of government? You see, Christians in USA, they don't have, there's no Christians in any country in the world, they have a protection. People, they, you can make a movie against Jesus. You can say the uh, bad language. You know, people are free, not in Islamic countries. And then when they say to you that we have like 100% Muslims in Saudi Arabia, that is because Islam is a religion of terrorism. Have you ever heard of a country have zero atheists, zero gays, zero lesbian, zero Christian, zero Hindus, zero, zero and everything, you know? Because who dare? 
this is this this is telling you how weak this cult is and as soon as the freedom come Islam is gone and this is what we see in the Middle East what we see today in the Middle East we have just people closing themselves as Muslims like Mimi Hijab he claimed to be a Muslim and he claimed he defend Islam right but in reality he practiced nothing of Islam what he practiced of Islam nothing not a single thing from the Islamic law he follow and the Muslim is the one who practiced the law not the ritual you see Muhammad he said the hyena Muhammad he said that there is things you need to do in order to be a Muslim He been ordered to fight and kill anyone in this world unless he accept him as a false prophet and he pay the money not to the British government not to British government not to the American government not to any non-Islamic government only Islamic government you have to pay the money to Muhammad and you have to pray as he pray and you have to worship as he worship and you have to slaughter as you slaughter and you have to follow the command of Muhammad which is the one who take Christians and Jews as a friends or protectors he is one of them as we see in chapter 5 verse number 51 but all those who live in the West those hypocrite without mentioning their names, they knew themselves. All of them, they carry a passport made in England. And when they take the passport, they take an oath to be loyal to Her Majesty the Queen at that time and now to the King of England who is wearing a cross. All who you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians as your friends or protectors. They are but friends and protectors for each other. And he amongst you that turns them to them for friendship is of them. So all those Mimi, Susu, Dudu, Nunu, all of them, according to Islam, they are ex-Muslims. This is how hypocrite they are. Like right now, uh, you know, Joe Biden, he is meeting with the, with the uh, president of Indonesia. And the president of Indonesia, he have, uh, uh, they have a center for the CIA in Indonesia. And they share a lot of information about terrorism with USA. And they are subdued to America in many ways. And they depend on a lot of help from the American. Same as Emirat, Bahrain, Qatar, Kuwait, you know, they, they claim that they have a state really, but in reality, they don't have a state. As an example now, the, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia is trying to be more close to the Chinese. He want to be living like an egg and the, the, Chinese, the Chinese chicken or the rooster. So they are always have to be a chicken of somebody, otherwise they have no eggs and their eggs cannot be hatched. So who is the Muslim left in this world? Zero. None of them is a Muslim. However, if a book is making you have fear, and this is my book, that is should encourage everybody to get my books. And I'm talking about people in Pakistan, in India, uh, those who speak Urdu or whatever language, get my books. We have a long list of them for free. Hmm? Read, my friend, educate yourself, educate your children, and let the world see the truth and the truth will set you free and actually this is can be the best advertising for my free books so people around the world they can read them because you need to ask yourself if this book is nothing why they want to ban it you know what i mean if this book is stupid it's nothing you know, <laughs> so, you, know? <laughs> you know what i mean but because this book demolishing the hyena muhammad demolishing this filthy cult this is why they fear people reading it but do you think in country like Pakistan you know Pakistan <clears throat> every everybody in Pakistan they go on the internet and do their search illegally you know they can they cannot ban anything I mean all of them they use a proxy software etc according to Google you know number one country in the world they search for sex with donkey is Pakistan rape is Pakistan so uh, and uh, the funny is 
Uh, Pakistan, they are banning my book, but not sex with donkey. I mean, how, how Muslim they search for sex with donkey in Pakistan. It's okay for the government of Pakistan, but my book is a problem for them. What What is the exactly, what is the problem? So, uh, you know, here we see that fear, fear have a reason. The fear have a reason. In the front of us, we have two uh, idiots who they claim that they are Muslims, but in reality, none of them is a Muslim. You know, where, where, where are those people? I mean, look at Turkey, Erdogan, who he claimed to be the, the, the Islamic leader. But the biggest center for the CIA and the Mossad in the world is located in Turkey. Turkey is number one country import steel to the Israeli so they can make their weapon, so they can fight the Arab. Number one importers for steel. Uh, Erdogan, not long ago, you know, he announced a new era with the Israeli and they want to encourage Israeli businessmen to come to Turkey. Erdogan, he never closed one night club. Just go right now and search for life, uh, nightlife in Turkey, and you will see what I'm talking about. So both all of them, I mean, this guy now, uh, Amran Khan is not a prime minister anymore, but I think the ban of my book happened because this is an old email. I guess, let me see what the date. Let me check. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? This is October 21st, yeah. Uh, and actually, look how many emails. Look, look how many emails, guys. Look how many emails from the government, from, from government. Look, look. One after one, one after one, one after one, one after one. Look, look, look. You know? Yeah. And this is, this is, this one is October 21st. Uh, and this one is from where? Let's see which government. Because look like there's many. Uh, uh, this is two, but uh, uh, yeah. This is two, another, uh, another video blocked in country of Pakistan. Uh, <laughs> look how many videos <laughs> another one <laughs> let us debate prophet muhammad ethic pakistan <laughs> look at this one we receive legal complaint can you yeah so this is the yeah i mean can you believe it how coward they are how potato how fufu they are no wonder when they call me, the one who is like uh, insulting Muhammad, say the effort to Muhammad, he claimed to be a Muslim, he called himself Fakira. Look how many Fakira we have. It turned to be the whole Islamic countries are Fakira. There's Fakira everywhere. Fakira. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, we go back to our topic, but you see, you see how and why, you know, what we do is very important. This is a very stupid religion. And because they knew that the religion is so stupid, it's very easy to demolish. This is why this fake cult need protection. It need literally protection. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, actually, I wish that millions of uh, people in Pakistan, they will go and they have signs against me. That will be, uh, that will be my dream come true. I challenge them. That would be so beautiful, you know, would be the best advertising. Uh, before we start, we have a we have a kid, his name is Hunter. Hunter, you know, yesterday we made the videos, right? And the day before. So the Muslims, they are desperate how they can answer a Christian Prince. I mean, how we can refute him. Look at this. Hmm. Mr. Christian Prince. And by the way, I did not find that. I told him not to delete it, but I think he deleted uh, my comment again, Isaiah 720, your biblical God will shave your, your private part with a rosary blade. <laughs> you know, you know, when a Muslim, he, he is desperate, he's trying to the Christians, oh, we can beat them, man. I mean, we can, hey, come on. 
this guy he show us the prophet received poo received uh, al fatiha when he was doing poo the prophet he cannot have sex with his wife allah send him dish of shish kebab uh, the prophet even he was shaving uh, abdur do you want to talk about shaving private part do you know that your private your private your prophet sorry your private prophet <laughs> used to use sugar <laughs> To shave his body hair, and this verse you are talking about, you idiot. <laughs> this is not shaving private part. This is about that God will strip the enemy of the Jews, the king of the Assyrian, from his power. But because you are ignorant, you do not know how to read, like your prophet illiterate. Ah, you come with this conclusion. Hey, Christian prince, your God is going to shave. You know, I mean, people will laugh at you. Don't you think that people are, you know, what's wrong with you? And you know the funny is you will see someone supposedly he is claiming to be Christian, he he accept what the Muslim posting to be true. Christians don't be if you are really Christian and you never you do not know that this guy is a stupid and he is fabricating things. That's mean, you know. I want to say shame on you, because that means you did not read your book. You are Christian by name, and you accept what the Muslim is saying blindly. And then he says. <clears throat> Uh, sunset in muddy the verse said how he found it meaning from the view like what the heck so he's answering me about the sunset in muddy water muddy water boiling water and he is saying this is from the view abdul what a view man it says he found it and he found near it <laughs> And not a view, it's a spring of water. You see, when Zachary Naik says, Brother Thitar, if you go and look in the ocean, you will see the sun going in the ocean. What do you think, Father? You think that the ocean, the sun is going in the ocean. Abdul, what ocean? The Quran says, a spring of water. Spring, spring. Ocean is not a spring. A spring usually is a little spot of water where the water coming from the ground. There's an old legend about the sun going, you know, like, you know, people they see like in a volcano area where water is boiling muddy hot so the sun take its heat from there it disappear but obviously it goes there so you're a stupid prophet and he confirmed it in the hadith and we will go to the book of joshua so people they can laugh at you this is your prophet when a muslim they try to cover up by the duct tape of their prophet stupidity he says this is from the point of view of Zulkarnain where where is the word point of view and how is stupid even to say so because if Allah reporting for us what happened to someone thousand of years ago and then he says he found it he say he thought he said he found it look like your God Allah do not know how to speak Arabic and then you have your prophet getting you busted here we go this is the hadith and this is Sahih not only Sahih it's Sahih in chain Sahih al Isnad, there's nothing wrong with it. I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah, S A W S S, which means uh, screwed up, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, Do you know where this is set? I replied, Allah and His Apostle know best. And then he said, It's set in a spring of boiling water. Takbir. So, what a view, idiot. This is a view too. This is the view. Muhammad is in Mecca, and now he viewed the sun sitting in murky water. But he is not next to the ocean. Hmm? And the Quran says spring of water. So, you know, people laugh at you. And then he says, in the book of Joshua, <laughs> you got to love the Muslims. You know, they are funny. Oh, boy. <laughs> Where is, where is the other one? Hold on. I'm trying to find the other one. Yeah, okay. Where, uh... Ah, here. Brother and sisters, in the book of Joshua, it says that the sun set in a muddy, worky water, brother. You idiot. It says to him, all the land, all the way to the west is going to be yours. Where is the what? Where is the sun set in murky water? All the way to the west is going to be your land. From the wilderness, and this is Lebanon. And as far as the great river, 
the river of Euphrates, all the land of etc., all the land of this, and even all the way to where the sun set is going to be yours. You see how silly they are? Do you see how desperate they are? Abdul, stop eating fool, potato. Let us go to something else. Uh, here, this one, he said, <clears throat> Are there not on the other side, Jordan, by the way, where sun goes down in the land of Canaanites? <laughs> so this is the sunset, the murky water too. <laughs> you know, I mean, they are so desperate. They are like anything, anything, anywhere it says like the sun goes down, that's the sunset and murky water. But there is no water, there's no murky. It's about the sunset, the set go down. <laughs> Look at this one. This one is even better. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Uh, you are not even a threat to hijab. You cannot even stand ultimate fart. My friend, I am the one who took call. I am the one who called your potato hijab. And he is the one who hang up on me seven times in less than 10 minutes. And he is the one who run away. So your potato hijab got busted by me with no mercy. You know, and even not only that, when discovered, he decided to uh, to frame me. He said, the Christian prince, sexual predator. He is asking a woman to take off her panty. I was showing her her prophet quotation. And I said to him, when I called him, I was quoting your faith, the prophet. He hang up on me, the coward son of Muta. So what hijab? He don't dare to take a call from me. I'm the one who call him. Go check it out, potato. What hijab? An ultimate fault is the one who says the MF word to your prophet just two days ago. Go watch the video, it's still there. We did not even take it down. He gave me an example how his prophet disobey Allah. And he said to me, there's a bigger brother and there's a younger brother. And the younger brother, he did something wrong. So the bigger brother, he said to him, he's talking about Allah, Trent Muhammad, chapter of At-Tahreem 66, What's wrong? What you, what you did is wrong. So he said to him, you mother F, I don't want to say the word, to your prophet. This is the guy you are talking about. And this is the guy who accept Rashad Khalifa as a messenger of Allah. And he is the one who accept the Quran to be corrupted. And he is the one who called the Arab MF2, which means your prophet is MF. At least he chose somebody. All of you are potatoes. And the proof is the following. None of you dare to call me except this guy because he's mentally ill. Already he called his prophet the F word. Already he accept the Quran to be corrupted. Already we got him busted. He said don't accept Hadith. But when we ask him what is the name of the prophet wife, he said Aisha. <laughs> what his father name? He said Abdullah. We ask him where he got this from. He said from uh, the books of history. <laughs> so at least get me someone, someone you can be proud about. Oh, potato. All of you are potatoes. And here we go. I'm going to prove that all of you are potatoes. You know, I, I allowed this guy actually to call me thousands of times. You know, we have tons of videos of him, right? If he could not make it in the first video, second video, th seven videos, eight videos, 10 calls, 100 call, he will make it now. So, you know, we have enough of his dirt. He's very filthy. His mouth is very filthy. Uh, but anyway, I'm so glad like last time when he called, he gave the effort to his prophet. That is not, wasn't expected, really. If I say it, that would be rude of me. But uh, a Muslim saying it, that's wonderful. Uh, all right. If there is any Muslim, my Skype is open. Uh, only Muslim, please. And, uh, you know, Muslims always, when they try to speak and talk about the Bible, we find what they say is laughable. Look at this guy as an example. Uh, the same guy, his name is Hunter. He says, respond to Christian Prince. According to the Bible, God said, I have man, human, 
image genesis 1 26 you stupid idiot we christian aren't we the christians who believe that god have an image of a man what's wrong with you <laughs> so he's counting for me not only that let me show you you stupid prophet quoting the old testament word by word The same exact verses you quote for me, your prophet, he quote and put it in his book. And then the Muslim, they try to fix it. They say this is not what he meant. Here we go. The Messenger of Allah reported, When any of you fight, he must avoid the face of God, for God, for the face, for God created Adam in his own image. So the same verses you are quoting me from the Old Testament, Muhammad is quoting, and obviously you Muslims are a fraud. So in one hand you say Allah is not a man, in the other hand you say, okay, I'm going, Muhammad is quoting from the Old Testament, saying that God created Adam in his image. If I go right now, here we go. God created Adam on his own image. You will find it that this is exactly what the Old Testament said. And this is the verse you are quoting for me, you idiot. Your prophet was quoting. Do you see it? This is exactly the same verse you were quoting for me. You see it? You do not know how to quote, you know, 26. 26 and 27 he repeated twice and then we find that your prophet is quoting it too your false prophet is caught co is copying the old testament and then we find that allah he have you know when mimi hijab he been asked by david wood that your god allah have a body part uh, we have zach and Nag says yes we have hands you have it you know but we don't know how they look like uh yashab ali all of them they say yes Mimi Hijab, how he refuted David Wood? Who said so? Well, your prophet said so. Your prophet, he said he have a foot. You know the funny thing about you Muslims, when you, one of you, he lie, you support his lie in order to make yourself look like you won a debate. And this is what happened when you debated David Wood. David Wood is not good in debate. In, in the way he is, he don't, you know, he is a, uh, you know, he's a nice guy. You know, he is not a, a, he's not a kind of a mockery person. And Muslims, they don't respect a person who is like that. They will make fun of him and they will look at him down. For them, they think this is a weakness. But this is why you don't dare to debate me, because you make a mockery, I will wipe the floor with you. So look what happened now. Allah have a foot. If I play the videos of Zakir Naik, or the video of Sheikh Asim, or the video of anyone. All of them, even Fifi, he says, yes, Allah have a hand. So how you say to, to David Wood, who said so? How in the world you say such a thing? So you laugh at David Wood because all of you are a bunch of hypocrites coward and fake like your prophet every single one of you knew that your god allah have body parts he have hands he have foot he have ears he have eyes and then when mimi hijab he said so so you know who said so all of you you laugh this is how you refute reference he has given you who said so Muhammad says so. So if such a person, his name is Mimi Hijab, he will not make, if he respect his prophet, he will not even, if he respect himself, he will not say such a statement. But because he's a street boy. And this is the fault of uh, David. This is why I don't like David Wood debating Muslims, because he brings street boys and make them famous. You know, for me, I don't consider me talking to someone as a debate. It's just, you know, wiping the floor with them. I'm not debating them. None of you dare to debate me. I don't. I don't have a debate in any way with anyone because none of you dare a debate. You know, have to have in between people who have knowledge, and none of you have a knowledge. And if Mimi Hijab have knowledge that his God Allah have a body part, and he said who said so, that means he's a liar. If you do not have knowledge, that means he is a stupid, and you put him in the stage for what? In either way, you supported him because you are a hypocrite. 
None of you. How come all those Muslims who make videos against me didn't say, hey, Mimi Hijab, shame on you, brother, to say Allah have nobody part. But if we go right now and search on YouTube, we will find tons of videos made by Muslims saying, yes, Allah have body part. Right? If I go right now, hmm? if I go right now to YouTube and I type, Allah have body part. Allah has, let's say, Allah has hand. We will not play a video of somebody is a Christian. You know, we will not. So here is uh, somebody is asking Sheikh Asim how we can refute, how to refute people of innovation who accuse us of giving Allah figures, hands, feet, etc. So here your Sheikh saying to them, will he have Allah? He said that. So if you have little dignity, you will not side with somebody changing the nature of Allah to something is not true just to win an argument. You see, if somebody say a lie and he's a Christian, if somebody is making a debate with Muslims and he changed the nature of Jesus, he denied that Jesus was 100 man and 100 God, we will make a video against him for his teaching and false teaching. You Muslims, you side with any evil person, even if he is corrupting the teaching of your religion, just to win an argument fakely but later people they watch my video because after the debate I made many videos about that debate and people die laughing at your lies and that's why Mimi Hijab got so upset from me and he supposed him to debate me but he refused to debate the coward he did not debate me did you say that hang up on him did you say that hang up on him because he uh, he was very much intimidated he brought five six Muslims sitting with him in the room and Ali Dawa his girlfriend next to him and I did not even ask a question <laughs> this is how terrified you are my friend and do Allah have do Allah have hands do Allah have a shin the answer yes and this is the website of Sheikh Asim we give him a credit for his video and you can listen to it all a leg a leg that he has a shin a leg that he has a shin a leg if i play the video all of it you will die laughing so in one hand the muslims when they debate christians they deny the nature of their god the look of their god that allah have a shin allah have a hands allah have five fingers allah have a foot but we have million videos in youtube made by the muslim sheikhs and they are muslim sunni like mimi hijab so my friend, this is a proof one thing, that Muslims are not decent to believe in what they say. They lie. They lie. Is that correct, guys? You see, this guy is not a Shia. This guy is not a Shia. This guy is a Muslim Sunni like Mimi Hijab. So why all of them, they say Allah have leg, he have a hand, he have a shin, but in the debate with David Wood, they deny, he says, who said so? Just ask yourself why. It's a mockery. It's dishonesty. And this is what happened when you have a street boy on the stage. And he knew that every Muslim will support him, even though every Muslim knew that he is lying. For this is the nature of the devil. The devil have one nature. He is the father of all lies. And those are his babies. Let us see, maybe we have a Muslim trying to call us. We hope so. <clears throat> Your stars, obviously, they cannot save you, my friend. Hello? 
The only one who calls us is Fakira. She changed her gender. Hello? Hello? Bonjour, Fakira. Fakira? Fakira now she is speaking as a girl. She you know she is a gay. And now she is speaking to me in French. <laughs> Fakira. <laughs> you know, I can't believe it that this guy he spoke to me as a homosexual, speaking like a girl. Hello, how are you? Yeah, what's your name, Fakira? Like what the heck? I mean, can you believe it? There's a there's a more than a billion Muslim. We got nobody except Fakira. Who don't accept any tafsir, any hadith. You don't even accept the Quran we have in the screen in front of us. We accept only the Quran of Rashad Khalifa. <laughs> we got Fakira. <laughs> I could not believe it that he changed his voice to speak like a girl. You know, Fakira. And then he called me again. He called himself Helen. Like, what the heck? I look at the Muslim, like, this is a Muslim name, her name, his name, his, he is a guy, his name is Helene. All right. <clears throat> yeah, anyone will say the F word, we will block you, be careful. Uh, so, do we have any Muslim really, any brave Muslim would like to call us and tell us anything good about Islam? We accept all, we don't want to hear anything bad about Islam, only good things. Only, only good things. Hmm? What do you think? Don't tell me anything except the good things. Anyone? You know, for me, I always appreciate the honesty of Muslims. <laughs> yeah, you know, laugh. Yeah, it's, it's time to cough. It's time to cough when you lie, huh? <laughs> the honesty of Muslims. <laughs> yeah. You know, the honesty of Muslims shows everywhere. As an example, you know, once... I said to myself, I need to go and see the grave of our grandfather Adam. But nobody have his grave except the Muslims. Brothers. So I decide to go and look for it. And I found all the graves you want Look at this grave. This is a prophet Amran. This is a prophet Amran. This is the father of Mary in the Quran. Look how tall he is. This guy in his time looked like he was born in the subway sandwich time. I mean, they didn't know how to lie. Even the grave is like what the heck is that this is the grave of the father of mary and this is the grandfather of jesus supposedly brother don't you think it's too short i mean this religion their lies is so long Look what it says here. Prophet show the tomb of a Prophet Amran in Oman. Prophet Amran, the father of Mary, he died in Oman. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look, what the heck is that man? What happened? He was looking for oil there? So the father of Mary, and by the way, how in the world Amran became the father of Mary? Amran is the father of Moses. 
Umran, Umran. You don't even Muhammad do not know how to quote the name correctly. Because the Quran says that Umram, which is the father of Musa, is the same father, is the same person, the father of Mary. That's why the Quran says to Mary, O sister of Aaron. That's why the chapter in the Quran speaking about Musa and Mary, etc., is called the chapter of Ali Umran, which means the family of Amram, because all of them they are family. <laughs> Brother, history can be taken only from the honest ones, and the honest ones around the world is the government of Pakistan or the government of Oman or the government of uh, Saudi Arabia and the Muslims around the world. You know, they have a grave. Well, look at this. This is Adam and Eve grave, brother. This is a grave of Adam. Well, which one is Eve? Uh, there's no bra or anything to see which one. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. Tomb of Adam and Eve. Tomb of who? <laughs> listen, listen. Tomb of who? Adam and Eve? I mean... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh boy and look but guys uh muslims they come with ideas like as you wish the grave of adam in england <laughs> Look at this one. This is a different one. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look, look uh, uh, Prophet Adam, he have a grave in many places. Look, this one is a different one. It says here, the grave of Prophet Adam it's almost 130 feet, brother. Me. This is a prophet Adam, 130 feet, brother. That's so good. But the picture says before this, uh, the same grave or different grave for the prophet Omran. I mean, they didn't know how to lie. I mean, those Muslims. Uh, oh, boy. So who is the Muslim would like to call us? And he can lie as much as he wish. Uh. <laughs> the only one when to talk to us is Fakira. Do we have any Muslim? Want to tell us something good about Muhammad? Any Muslim would like to call us and tell us something good about his prophet, the best prophet in the world, the most amazing, the so good in bed. According to scientific study, the best prophet who can have boom boom in the world, it was Prophet Muhammad, proven to be true. He used to do boom boom to all his wives without even washing, and at the end he, he finished by washing himself. Me, he was so clean. Mm. You know, I mean, when somebody speak about prophet, you expect him to talk about how decent he is, how much he fast, but how much he f. Man. That is telling you what kind of a quality is the people who he came to. Anas said, the prophet used to have intercourse with his wives with only single washing. <laughs> That's so good to be true. It's very nice. 
I mean, the guy, he's trying to save the environment and water. What do you want more? Hmm? He goes sleep with all his wives. And then after he finished all of them, he take one wash. How many, how many a night? How many women? Look, 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 look. The prophet used to visit all his wives in one night. Uh, and he had nine, ni he, if nine women in one night. Uh -uh. Somebody's saying why you are calling me. What you are saying to me, confusing. Okay, let me block you. Why you are calling me? Why you text me? Stupid. A Muslim is texting me, and you are saying to me, you are confusing people. And then when I call the Muslims, he says, why well, you are calling me, okay? <laughs> he play victim. Me. The prophet used to pass by, between two brackets, have sex, 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 and with all his wife in one night. Oof, 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 oof. And uh, at that time, he had nine wives. At one night. What the heck is that? This is at night time. When, when Muhammad, he pray, when he talked to Allah, when he was... <laughs> How much sexual disease he spread. <laughs> anyway. Do we have any Muslim who tell us something good about his prophet? Besides that he was so good in bed. And later we find that if he was not, you know, the prophet, he don't even have sex with his wives. The hadith says that the prophet, he imagined himself having sex but in fact he did not this guy I call him he never answer if I call you and you don't answer I will block you Aisha she said the prophet continued for such and such period imagining that he had sexual relationship with his wives in fact he did not did you see it? Do you see it, Muslims? So all those stories is fabrication. Your prophet even cannot have sex with one woman. This is why he have no kids. See, the Muslims, they say that Muhammad have many kids and they died. And they say like he have daughters. Those are lies. You know, none of those are... Those are the children of Khadija before him, the daughters, including Fatima. And after that, Muhammad, he have zero kids. Those are kids from slaves, and those slaves, they sleep around, not only with their master. Muhammad is an impotent. Imagine, all the wives he married, including Aisha, all of them, they are young, except, uh, uh, you know, Khadija. This is why they cannot be his kids, because Khadija was old when he married her. And there's a second wife, her Sauda, she was old too. Uh, so both those they cannot have kids uh, but the rest all of them they are young so all the women including all the women he raped not even one of them she gave him a child do we have any Muslim would like to talk to us When you take a Christian cause, well, you will hear if I'm taking Christian cause, my friend. Did I say Christian, you can call me? I said I did not say that, so don't text me. Anyone text me in Skype, I will block you, my friend, unless there's a reason. If I say Christians call me, then you can call me. Did I say Christian can call me? No, I'm saying Muslims. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? By the way, I imagine myself that I have sex with all my wives. And then when I woke up in the morning, I found that I was holding the Quran.
No more comment. Uh, don't use bad language, my friend. Even YouTube will not allow your language to come through. Don't use bad language. Do we have any Muslim here? Would like to call us. May they, may they, may they. You know, I like, I like really, to be honest with you, I like long graves. But what I don't understand, why the grave is so long, but it's so narrow. I mean, how, I mean, he look weird, this Adam. He looks so tall, but he is so thin. Is that normal? I mean, our, our, our forefather, Adam, he was in diet. Let us see Prophet Musa's grave. Hold on, I will search for Prophet Musa's. Muslims, they have a grave for everybody. Okay, my, we are not typing in English. Come on, we switch to English and type in Arabic. We switch in Arabic and type in English. Okay. Let us see what we will find. Oh boy. Uh, I look, uh, this is, oh, 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 look, look, brother, they have, uh, this is uh, the, the grave of a prophet Ayub, look, 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 I found the grave of Abraham, the Muslim, they have the grave of Abraham. So the grave in Jerusalem, this is for whom? What the heck is that? Where is this one? This is the grave of Abraham? Me, Omar Rabbi Omar. Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? Hold on, I will search for my grave. I'm sure the Muslim, they have a location for it. Give me a second. I mean, those people, they lie about everything. Look what I found. I searched for Christian Prince grave, I found this. Christian Prince, longest grave in the world. <laughs> oh boy. Hey Muslim, there is somebody in history who don't have his grave. I mean, look, Alexander the Great, he is a Muslim, according to the Quran. Let, let us search for his grave. Uh, the grave of Zu Karnain. Let us see if we will find if we find for him a grave or not. The grave of the Qurnain, the grave of the Qurnain. Uh, okay. uh, there is no grave. Uh, okay. Let us type it in Arabic. Hold on. Qabr the Qurnain. Nothing. What the heck is that? 
brother, the Muslim, they found the dam built by Dhul Qurnayn. Look, 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 I was looking for his grave. Uh, no, 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 hold on, I found something. I found just something now. Scientists, they discover the face of Dhul Qurnayn. Look at this, it's YouTube video made by Muslims. <laughs> Brother, this is Al-Qurnayn. Look at him. <laughs> you know, the Al-Qurnayn, the mean with, like the one who has something. Al-Qurnayn means the two horn. So the stupid Muhammad, you know, there is a story written by somebody from Assyria. From Syria, sorry, about uh, it's a fiction story about uh, about Alexander the Great. Then the Roman, they used to wear a hat with a horn just to scare the enemy. So uh, you know he, he called it so, such a title. Muhammad he took it. He put it in the Quran. Oh boy. Uh, Yeah, his life. Yeah, his life. Aga, aka, apa ini Christian prince life? Ah, aka ini. Yeah, apa ini. Yeah. So, do we have any Muslim? Until now, we have zero Muslim trying to contact us. The only one trying to contact us is Fakira. <clears throat> Let us see. Hello? Fakira? Hello? Hello, Fakira? Fakira? Obsessed. Mad person. Mentally ill. He will never speak here. After he said the F word, you know, he said the F word to his prophet and then he claimed that he meant to me, to my mother. I will never let you speak here. You already washed the floor of your prophet under your feet and my feet. We used you and abused you enough. No, no place for you. You will never speak here. Takira. Do we have any real Muslims who would like to talk to us? It's a very shameful that we are in a time that the Muslim, they say the F4 to their prophet. I cannot believe it. I mean, can't you explain to me why your prophet disobey Allah without saying the effort to his mother? <clears throat> Do we have any brave Muslim who would like to call us? Anyone? I, you thought I'm going to take a break? I'm taking a break now. Don't you see the Qurnayn in front of you? <laughs> what do you want more? <laughs> that and look, the Muslim they found the dam which is Qurnayn he built, brother. Look at this. This is the dam. You know the funny is about those Muhammadan. Okay, if this is the dam, what is the people of Gog and Magog? Look what happened? I mean, and you can see like here, they have even Photoshop of this hole, whatever it is. And they, this is Photoshop, they merged two pictures together. There is no shame, they have no dignity. They lie at each other, they lie to each other. How did Muhammad die? Abdul say he did not get poison. Can you uh, show, explain how to refute Muslims answer to this. Well, I do not need to refute the Muslim, my friend. When the Muslim, they say that Muhammad did not die by poison, they are accusing their prophet of being a liar. Because the one who said he died by poison, dying by poison, is Muhammad. So a Muslim cannot refute that because he's, if he refute, if he's, you know, he's refuting his prophet. You know what I mean? So if a Muslim says to you, no, this is not true, the answer should be, just learn how to answer, you know. Uh, 
what your prophet says. So are you saying your prophet is lying? Are you are you more knowledgeable of what happened to himself, to Muhammad, more than Muhammad himself? Isn't it, this is even hilarious to say? If Muhammad is saying, the prophet Aisha said, the prophet in his element, which he died, used to say, which means not only once, not only twice, not only three, the guy, he said, repeat that. He used to say, Oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at that time, so you see the connection, and at that this time, I feel as if my aorta being cut off from that poison. Do you want more clear proof? So if they try to refute it, they are refuting their prophet, not me. They are just being stupid, you know. They are saying their prophet, he lies. Then I have to agree. Christian Prince, Shalom, ex-Muslim. May the Lord bless you, keep you. May he make you his face shine. My friend, thank you very much from South Africa. God bless you. You see, I'm, I'm so glad to see people from around the world learning, getting education, leaving Islam. Look at this wonderful message from our friend who is an ex-Muslim. I don't know if he's an ex-Muslim, is he? Because his name is a Shalom, ex-Muslims. I don't know if he's a Muslim, Muslim, ex-Muslim himself. So Shalom from South Africa. Shalom to you invite more African brothers. Actually, when I was in Ukraine last year, uh, uh, in, uh, I, did, I did a seminar, I think it was July. Uh, I did a seminar, there was only three uh, Ukrainian and the rest, all of them, they were African, African student, you know? Uh, and some of them even, they were uh, ex-Muslims. And uh, the, the, you know those uh, students include uh, like uh, you know boys and girls. Uh, they are studying medicine, uh, studying uh, doctors, pharmacies, uh, engineers. Uh, very quality people, you know. <clears throat> so we have a very good time. We we I was supposed to do a one day seminar, you know, like two hours, and then I spent the whole night, uh, and then I did the second day because they like it very much. So I did, I did two days, as I remember. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look what Ida, Ida is saying, Ida Zero. Saying, uh, Ida, you are a male or female? Is it I, Ida? Or I don't know. Uh, Ida is saying, I know, it sounds like a female name. Said that she got the name or the, the picture, sorry, of the angel Gabriel. Grave. <laughs> you know, the Muslims are really hilarious. Even, even Gabriel, the angel, he have a grave. Oh boy. <laughs> I will die one day here just laughing, you know. But that would be that would be a nice uh, uh, will be a nice death. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Here we go. Let us introduce to you the grave of the, the angel Gabriel. <laughs> and where in Iraq? Let me let me hold on. Let me translate this page. <clears throat> this is in the uh, in in Kufa in Iraq. I will translate the page. The shrine of Gabriel, peace be upon him. <laughs> but here the translation says king. In fact, it says Malak, Malak, which means angel, Malak, you know. So the shrine of the angel Gabriel, peace be upon him, located at the fifth cylinder in the great mosque uh, of in Kufa. All right. So who of you want to go and visit the, the, the angel Gabriel? <laughs> <laughs> the 
the funny is that Adam, his grave is so long. The grave of Jibreel is so, like it's like a cheese. What happened? What is the grave? Oh, you know, you forgot like he is a, he's a bird, you know? <laughs> Are we going to find the grave of Allah soon? I mean, Muslims, there is somebody that did not make a grave for him. Be honest with me. If there is one person in this world don't have a grave for him, anyone is famous, anyone, they have a grave for him, and they visit it, and they cry there, and they pray there. And you imagine how many people, they come here, and they touch the stones, and you know, Jibreel, alayhi salam, Allahu Akbar, you know? Mm. And says here, pray, and uh, bow down, two bow, make two bow here, bow down, two twice, twice, please, bow down, you know? Mm. It says here, Maqamu Jibreel, alayhi salam, uh, maybe here they don't mean a grave. Maybe they mean that he prayed here. Uh, maybe maybe they mean that in this place, Jibreel, he bowed down twice praying. That's deep. Man. The grave of Muhammad. <clears throat> yeah, the grave of Muhammad is in the city of Medina. It's uh, It looked horrible, actually. You know, the grave inside. Uh, outside, it looked nice, but inside looked horrible. Let us see. <clears throat> yeah, you see, in outside, I will show you both. In outside, they have this wall, which supposedly look, you know, look, uh, look fine, you know. I mean. Uh, but if you look inside, the room is look horrible. This is the room inside. It's just dirt. Uh, you know, they just throw him there, bury him there. This is the grave inside. And this picture was taken when they found that the walls inside the grave, the old grave is collapsing. So they had to open the, because they have there is no door, there is no door for the grave. There is four walls, and uh, and then uh, I don't know which caliphate he made a roof for it, and then since then nobody opened it, and then one day they found that uh, the wall is collapsing, uh, so they have to fix it. Where is Allah grave? I don't know. How he can die if he doesn't exist? No. Yeah. So supposedly where they have the red dot there is the grave of Muhammad. <clears throat> look look very creepy, right? And look what they have in the top of his head. What is that? Uh, our sister here saying, you see, I don't have the option to put a comment in the screen as the, like those programs, but still I prefer the program I'm using because uh, I can zoom more in the chat, in the, in the text, in the like uh, on the screen when we are teaching. The other ones, they don't really do good. That's why I prefer this one. So our sister here, she is saying, <clears throat> Uh, Squipchar, uh, Christian Prince, my husband and I are grateful for your witnessing to Muslims, but we pray you find out about God fourth commandment. Keep the Sabbath day holy. I mean, you see, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> this is this is here. You see how some Christian they have wrong understanding of the Sabbath. When God He gave the command to the to the Jews about the Sabbath, because the Jews are very greedy, they love money, and nothing changed. They're still the same. So God He have to enforce the Sabbath on them. God never enforced Sabbath on Abraham, because Abraham wasn't a greedy, and then all the childrens until Moses. 
but when they become so greedy and they are so much into money and they are forcing even their servants to work in, in all the week no no break so god he forced them on sabbath so this is why jesus said sabbath was made for the man not the man was made for sabbath and here our sister she think that uh, she think the same as the jews think because Jesus and the disciples, they work in Sabbath. They heal people in Sabbath. They preach in Sabbath. So she think that Sabbath is the way the Jews they think, which is very wrong. God bless you, sister. But I hope you understand very well that you have a very wrong understanding. God do not need your Sabbath. It's you who need it. And any day in the Bible, any day you give to the Lord is called Sabbath. This is why many of the naive who do not know the Bible very well, they think when the Bible said that the second day was Sabbath, when the Jesus was crucified, they think it was Sabbath as Saturday. Sabbath is a holiday, any holiday, any day. And all time we do here, we sit here, we speak, the purpose is to save Muslim, that is a Sabbath. So my, my sister, with my, in my humble advice to you, you do not know what Sabbath means. Sabbath is any day, any time you give to the Lord, is not Saturday. So don't be ignorant the same as the Jews and don't follow don't don't follow the law blindly without understanding the law. God do not need your Sabbath and good work is a Sabbath. Any time you do Sabbath, if you go and search in the Bible you will find the word Sabbath appear many times. Sabbath is not Saturday. It's not Saturday. Sabbath is a day for the Lord. So there is a Sabbath every week, which is happened to be Saturday, that's why it's called Sabbath. But there's a Sabbath any day, any day you decide to be for the Lord. It can be holiday, it can be a volunteer day, it can be like a day you decide to go and volunteer to work to help the poor. That is a Sabbath. <clears throat> Uh, so you know, they say, you know, I will, I will, if I go with you, know, you know, I do not need to research scripture. I, I am the person who can search for you. You know, I just gave you the answer. Go, you go and search. Go and search. You do not know what you are talking about. Sabbath. It can be Saturday every week, but Sabbath is any day you give to the Lord. Jesus was not crucified in Sabbath. And even like even some Muslims, they say, some Christians, they say, they think that, you know, how many of you know about the Good Friday? You know, Good Friday, Good Friday, Good Friday. But what people do not know, that's, you know, our timing is not the same as the timing of the Jews. As an example, today, like now, in two hours, three hours from now, two hours, it's going to be 12 p.m. Tuesday for me. But for the Jews, it's already Tuesday. Because they go by the sunset and the sunrise. So people until now, they think, even they when they take speak about the time, they think about the time we have, the calendar we have. Their calendar is different from our calendar. <clears throat> I'm not talking about Black Friday. I know good. I said Good Friday. What the Black Friday? Did I say Black Friday? Maybe I want to buy something. I'm thinking about Black Friday. <laughs> good Friday. So you know, a Sabbath. Sabbath is. Uh, and you know, I find it very funny that some Christian they think they are. You know, you are. You're not even saved if you if you think the same as the Jews. The Jews they were throwing rocks at Jesus for working in Sabbath. And that's what you are doing at me now. Don't you follow you? Don't you follow your Lord? Are you better than him? Uh, yeah, Sabbath. 
mistakenly many people they take it they take anything in a very naive way you know without searching you know this is how the jews always when they speak to jesus like when jesus says before abraham i am and they said to him you are not even 50 years old so they didn't get it. i mean what he said before abraham i am they are looking what they are looking at his age the same as when moses he gave them law even like when when they, when they practice the law of stoning to death you know they what they do they go and they bring a woman but where is the guy? Where is the court? Where is the judge? That's it? How, how you found that the woman she is doing adultery, but you did not find the man? If they, you know, if they cut, if, if they if they like red-handed, let's say, the woman she was practicing. Okay, where is the man? This is exactly how Islam is. Why you have an Erdogan in my thumbnail? I, you know, for fun. I use him as a towel to wash my shoes. Hey, my friend, the shoe of Erdogan. Okay, you know what? I will talk about the shoe of Erdogan. As long you are saying that the shoe of Erdogan is better and have more honor than me. All right? Well, isn't it this is Erdogan? Just yesterday, we heard about the explosion by a Kurdish woman in Taksim Street. Do you know what Taksim Street is where all the bars and nightclubs where Erdogan he goes? So if I go now, Mr. Mr. Honor, you see, you Muslims you worship pimps, and Erdogan is a pimp. If Erdogan is a Muslim president and he established an Islamic state and he keep reciting Quran and he was a sheikh. He was what? He was a sheikh. I will type this in YouTube. Hold on. Erdogan, how long he is a president for Turkey? How long he is president for Turkey? This is your Islamic state of Turkey. Hmm. Brother? Which, which bar you like to meet Erdogan in with the one who have high honor? Turkey is a very well-known country for prostitution, scam, human trafficking, drugs, everything wrong. And you are telling me he have honor? Will he have honor for you because you are a pimp like him? Obviously. So, in, in the opening, they claim to be Muslims. But if you go down the street in Turkey, you will find what Turkey is about. Just go there. Rumors? It's in the front of you. <laughs> Guys, it's rumors. <laughs> you know, you know the the guy, the Harun Yahya, when I made a video and I showed the video of him, then he, he is in jail, but his group they reported me to YouTube. You know? <laughs> Rumor, where was Erdogan when this guy was his friend and asking people to vote for Erdogan all those years? And all of you Muslims, you start copying his uh, his uh, his videos and his books about uh, Quran and science. This is an Islamic TV station in Turkey. This is not supposedly a prostitution TV station. This is an Islamic TV station in Turkey. This is the founder of Islam and science on the world. All of you Muslims, you follow him. Rumors? Hmm. This is Yusuf State. He was speaking about Harun Yahya and how he found his book. And it was an amazing, perfect book. He said to himself, this is what we are looking for. Harun Yahya is a pimp. Rumors. And this is why when you Muslims, you have someone like this guy, Tate, you are so proud about him because this is who converted to Islam and Erdogan is a pimp. The one who opened and he allow prostitution centers, nightclubs to run in the country. You know, once I download an app, uh, uh, I forgot the name really. 
Uh, but I think it's like it's a very well known. You know, you can change the location where you search. So they told me that you can post your videos there. So I download the video, the, the, the app. And then I searched Turkey and I found nothing but prostitutes. Call this number, naked pictures. And this guy saying to me rumors. And as you see, this pimp Islam gave him peace. Peace of what? Who is a Muslim would like to call us and join us? The only one is trying to call us is Fakira. Fakira. There is no Muslim left, Muslim men. Hello? Fak Fakira, he's saying the F word. <laughs> Come on him. <laughs> right away, he said the F word. <laughs> this guy is going, he's losing his mind, Fakira. <laughs> Only one Muslim girl around the world can call me. Her name is Fakira. She is very filthy with her tongue. She said the F word to her prophet because she is very much frustrated. Do we have any brave Muslim besides Fakira? Anyone? Anybody? Uh, Dr. Zakir Naik meet Harun Yahya. Look, look, look at this video. Uh, and now, they, if you ask them, they will say, No, I don't care for him. You know, Ahmad Didat, he wrote his name in his book. He wrote even what his study in his book. Ahmad Didat, he wrote even the Rashad Khalifa and his, all the scammers. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a corporation of scammers. And brother. I'm going to change my business. From now on, I'm going to defend Islam and I will open a Dawa channel in Turkey. And I will hire some girls to promote the Dawa channel. Look at this. Look at my admins and look at those. I mean, this even life is not fair, man. Honestly, life is not fair. Look at my admins. I have Sheikh Ahmad with his beard. You know, he looked like Solomon. And look what this guy is doing dawah. I mean, why, why my luck is not good? Why? Why? Call me coward? Okay, this guy calling me coward. I don't know if it's Fakira or not. <laughs> Hello? Yes, I hear you. Are you a Muslim? Yes. What is La the proof? Ilaha ilaha. Wa ilaha ilaha. Wa ilaha Say it again, please. I'm here to bust you. Okay, so can you say again what you just said? La ilaha ilaha Muhammad Rasulullah. I never heard of such a shahada. La ilaha ilaha. Since Let's get to the point. Let's no, get to the but, but you don't know how to say shahada since when this is La ilaha ilaha. Ha. Your God, his name, Allah, is ha ha. La ilaha illallah. Oh, okay. Now now it's uh, fine. Okay, go, go to the point. You said you want to get me busted. Go ahead. Yeah. You, you, you've been talking a lot of uh, nonsense saying that the word Allah hmm. is um, it's fake and Christian, um, uh, Christian Arabs don't use it. Hmm. But if you look up the Ar Aramaic dictionary, yeah. if you type in God, hmm. it comes up the word Allah. No. There's no such a thing. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yep. No. You can you can Google right now. No, the, the, you know, dictionary. The, aloha. You can. Aloha. Al, al. Al is word meaning God. Oha. This is a sound. The God of Islam is a name. That is a word meaning God. It's Aramic. We know. Listen. We know that you Muslims you stole the name of the God from the Aramic anyway. So you agree with me now that the origin of the name of your God is the Aramic language, correct? Hello? 
Yes. Can okay. you hear me? So do you agree with me that the origin of your God name is coming from the Aramaic? No. Uh, what do you uh, know? You just said to me, if you open the dictionary, the Aramaic, a second ago, you said if you open the dictionary, the Aramaic, you will find the word God, Allah, in the dictionary. You said that. Not me. You forgot what you said? Yeah, but you said the Christian. Okay, but hold on. Look, hold on. But you, what you just said, you said the word God in the Aramaic is Allah, correct? Yep. Okay. That's correct. So the name of the God Pastor. of Islam, is it word meaning God or it's a name? Uh, it's a word. So it's not a name. It's it's his name. It means God. No, you just said Shahada. You said to me, La ilaha illallah. This is the Aramaic. The Aramaic is ilah. That is the Aramaic word. Uh, illa, except Allah. Allah then is not God because if you say there's no God but God, that's stupid. But you just say, La ilaha illallah. That means there's no God but Allah. Allah is the name. If you look with me in the screen, it says, In the name of Allah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Does the Quran says who Allah? It is He, Allah. Give me one moment. Why you need one moment? For what? <laughs> he hang up. <laughs> A second ago, he was saying to me, call me coward. <laughs> the conversation did not go as he wished. <laughs> That's was fast. <laughs> I'm going to get you busted, you coward. Okay? Let us go. Let us get to the cheese. All right? <laughs> I will get you busted. What do you do? Like, what do you think who you are, man? You have no idea. Uh, yeah, I look like this guy is from Iraq, Ahmed Bayati. Yeah. What happened, Ahmed? Let us call you back, man. What where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Hmm. He is even offline now. He went offline. Bye bye. Maybe he need to search, do some search because he found himself in trouble right away so fast. You know, this guy is like the guy who is holding the gun in the wrong direction. So he hold the trigger, he shoot, and the bullet came in his head. You know. Yeah, I have to give him credit. At least he called. He's better than the rest, you know. And he was excited, by the way. I mean, we have, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we know, we understand, and this is true, that the Muslims, their God name is coming from the Aramaic language. But this is when the Aramaic people, they used to worship the moon god. You know, there's many religion in that territory, many gods, and one of them is the moon god. You know? People who live in a hot areas, they worship the moon god. People who live in a cold area, they worship the sun god. And the reason for that, very simple, you know, the moon in the... Uh, uh, in the cold areas, uh, you know, people, they like to see the sun. They don't want to see the cold. They have enough cold. Uh, but people who live in a hot area, they don't want the sun because the sun is the one who killed their, uh, their sheep their grass, you know, even kill them. They need water to live, to survive. Uh, but uh, all the Muslims agree that Allah is not a word meaning God. Allah is a name. That's why when they say Shahada, they, they, you know, they say there's no God, but Allah. That is Allah, your God. You see, this is the word God. Huh? Uh, he's back, he's back. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, Mr. Ahmed, how are you? 
Uh, good thing. Yeah, let's just have a respectful uh, conversation. I did not say anything to you. You hang up. I don't know. Did I say anything? Nothing. Okay, that's okay. fair. That's so, a fair point. Chapter six, chapter six, verse one or two. It says, "You speak Arabic." Uh, yeah, I can speak Arabic. All right. It says, "Thalikum Allah, Rabbukum, la ilaha illahu." Okay, this is translation English. That is Allah, your God, your Lord. There's no God but He. So if the word Allah means God, then we should say, that is God, your Lord, and there is no God but He. And we should repeat the same word Allah again. But as you see, Allah here is coming as a word. And then the word Rabb, Rabbukum, is the word is your Lord. So Allah is the name, correct? Yep, that's correct. Okay. So Allah is a name, and the name is coming originally from the Aramaic language. But Allah is not really the correct name. If you go to chapter 1, and you can open chapter 1 with me in your Quran, verse number 1 and verse number 2, it says, and you speak Arabic, which will make it very easy, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Is that correct? It says that in Arabic? Verse number yeah. 1? Okay. But does it say in verse number 2, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Li, lahi. Correct? Yeah. All right. Li mean two, correct? Do we agree? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What is the second word? Lah. Correct? Yeah. That's your God. And he's a wonderful God. But no, but but you know what happened now? Your God, his name is not Allah. Your God is Lah. You agreed. You said yes. So Alhamdulillah. Lah. Li is two. La, La is your God. La is the moon God. Go search it now in two, in two seconds in Google. You will find that La is the moon God. So my friend Ahmad, your God is the moon God. His name is La is not Allah. Allah is towards Al in Aramaic. And as long as you agree with me, the origin of the name is coming from the Aramaic. Al as a word mean God. La is the word God, you know, or the, the, the word which is in the name of the God. So the word Al is God. Then the name follow, Allah, God, La. Your God is La. So how it happened that your God is the same as the God of the pagan who worshipped the moon? What do you think, Ahmad? My God, can you repeat that uh, phrase again? Repeat that sentence again? Our friend, chapter 1 and ch verse number 1, verse number 2. Now you said something about pigs and dogs. I didn't say pigs. I said pagans, pagans. Pagans. Oh, pagans, pagans, yeah, yeah, pagans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, how, that, how it well, happened that the name of your God is the same name of the pagans who worship the moon? Well, show me... Uh, the moon God. Show me it will show me if that's actual um, factual. What I just showed you, this is the true name. If you agree to me, you forgot. Alhamdulillah, I ask it to you. Li, la, li mean two. You agree, Kair? Lu, li mean two. Do we agree? Yeah, yeah. All right. Li who? Li to Allah. So, to al to al to la. Alhamdu to la. So, if your God is Allah, you don't say Alhamdu to la. You say Alhamdu to Allah. But you did not say Alhamdu to Allah. You say Alhamdu li la. So, who is your God? Your God is la. So, all your life you pray to the wrong name. You do not know that your God name really is la, not Allah. So, if we write it in the screen here, we type, we, we translate the word, uh, uh, the second verse is going to be the following. Alhamdulillah. Let us type in English. Li. La. Li is a word mean or, you know, letter mean uh, to. La is the name of your God. So simply your God name is La and you are a pagan worshipping pagan God. Yeah, if, if my God is a pagan God, then yeah. how come Andrew Tate converted to Islam? How I can what? My, if my God is a pagan God, then how come Andrew Tate converted to Islam? Alhamdulillah. Angel? Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate. Who is Angel? Who is that person? And who care? She's Everybody's... Okay. Everybody's converting to Islam because they can well, see I, the truth. No, for, it's the opposite. If you watch my channel, you will see everybody is leaving Islam, including you. Do you think? What don't you think you will leave Islam today, after we finish talking? No. Are you sure? I'm confident. Okay, look at you. I just showed because... you that your God have a name is La, and how what how you answer me? This is how confident you are. Right away you hang behind the women. Her name is what? I don't know, Janet something. And you said to me, how should I come? I mean, if somebody is a stupid, isn't it your prophet? He says women, they have half a brain. 
So now you are hiding, according to your religion, women, they have half a brain. And you are telling me that a half a brain person converted to Islam. And now this is the proof that Islam is a religion. It's the truth. What can't you okay, see? Okay, it? what the truth? Here we go. Your God. Okay, let me ask you. You see, I'm not going to uh, make it difficult for you, Ahmad. You are a nice person and you are welcome. Can you give me a proof? You said to me, it's the truth. The truth says, the Quran says, to be burhanikum in kuntum sadiqun, sadiqin. Bring me your, you know, your proof if you are truthful. Do you agree with that? Yeah. All right. Give me the proof that Quran is from God. You see, the one who put the rules is your God. Yeah. All right. Give me the proof that the Quran is from the true God, not somebody. Uh, Okay, because Quran is, is from God because it forbids everything that is wrong with this world. Every, no, it's, uh, Quran does not forbid anything. As an example, are you forbidden to be a print in Islam? Can I finish? Because Quran forbids drugs, alcohol, not, fornication. Not, not, not a true, not a true. Uh, adultery. Not a true. If, not it a, forbids all of these things. Not a true, not a true. All of this is false. Do your prophet allow you to do muta? Yes, that was uh, allowed muta, but that was during the war time. Okay, there what, were is, five, what yeah, is muta? Isn't it muta was, prostitution? No, it's not prostitution. So what it is? Uh, you give like a, it's like a contract marriage for no. a period of time. How long? How long? It can be as long as one minute or one day okay. or one year. So guys, it can be as one minute or one or no, not one year. This is short. It have to be more, not more than a few days. So one minute, you just said one minute. So you gave a woman money in return for her to sleep with you, correct? That's why it's called muta. It's sexual, sexual muta. Yeah. Okay. So how this is not a, uh, not not prostitution? Because this is what prostitution is about. You pay a woman. It's a contract. You pay her in return. She take off her panty. You sleep with her. Yeah. Okay. What's wrong with that? What's wrong? What, but you just say to me, Islam. Okay. For, but you just said to uh, me, Islam forbid fornication, adultery. Yeah. But Islam allow fornication. Yeah. Okay. What yeah. about? What about? Okay, can I finish? Can I finish? But this is this is this is halal. This is not zina. Okay, but but you just made legalize. You just made legalize the fornication. You are a fornicator. Or what you did? You just changed the name of prostitution. Yeah, but it, it's from God. It's halal. It's not. How zina. it's halal? You're not committing, it's how you not say? Committing how sin. you say to me that in Islam fornication and adultery is forbidden, and now you are saying to me, Allah allow me to do fornication and rent women to have sex with so how you forbid it but you make it legal is having sex with your wife is that a fornication she's not a wife you know it says here you just told me one minute is it you who said the word one minute did you, did you say did you say one? I, it can would be one minute. It can be a day. It can be a year. You yeah. said that, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but it's that's it. It says temporarily and muta. Yeah, the word muta. What, yeah. what muta mean? Muta means sexual pleasure, correct? Yeah. Okay. So the purpose of this relationship is sex. Why not? Okay. So the purpose of the relationship is sex, not because you're in love or you want to have a family, correct? Yeah. Okay. That is prostitution. Prostitution, you don't want to, you know, you don't care for this woman. You don't want to have a wife. You don't want to have kids from her. You just want to sleep with her. So what do you do? You tell her how much you charge me. She agree. You say to her for how long? You say, I will stay with you for like an hour or half hour. And, you know, you pay her and bingo, you know, we are done. So you Muslims, you legalize prostitution and you call it marriage. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Secondly, is it true that you can work as a pimp in Islam? Like as a pimp, like what do you mean? As a pimp, as a pimp, you know what pimp means. You speak English better than me. No, that is not true. Because no. if that was true, you'll be you you'll be seeing it um um everywhere in Muslim countries. You, but see, you, it, don't see, any, you see it. No, you see it everywhere. You don't, you no, don't see it. You know, you see it everywhere. Just go to Turkey, go to Egypt, go to all countries, Muslim countries. You see it everywhere. But look at this. This is in the Quran. Is it in, is it, is the Quran better than the countries of Muslims? Here we go. The chapter twenty four, verse number thirty three. It says, for not, force not your slave girls, because now you must you don't have slave girls no more, most of you. So force not your slave girls into prostitution if they desire chastity, which means if they don't desire chastity, if they agree, it's okay. 
if, if you force them still it's okay and if you force them Allah is merciful there's no punishment for you or for them chapter 30 24 verse number 33 you can be working as a pimp in Islam it's in the front of you Uh, give me one second. What verse is this? Chapter 24, verse number 33. Chapter 24, verse... Don't force them to do prostitution. Don't force them to do prostitution. If they choose chastity. But if they agree not to be chest, they like to be hookers. Fine, it's fine, very fine. But And even if you force them, huh? Allah is all merciful. But these are only slaves. So, so you allow, so you can work as a pimp in Islam, and uh, and the one you are now is actually is even more evil. Now you are abusing girls. You kidnap them from their family. You make them sex slave, literally, and you force them to prostitution. And your God now, because the women, the Muslim women, they start complaining. The husband they don't sleep with them, and everybody have tons of women, and he is making a business. So now Muhammad make it legal to have business and now you are saying to me oh because they are slaves so we can work as a pimp so you can be a pimp and you agreed with me I don't agree with you but I, I just gotta check the tafsir and commentary and no problem uh, you can check the tafsir it's in front of you you speak Arabic why Muslims they cannot understand the Quran in Arabic and they need tafsir if the Quran says we made it a clean in a clear details that's why we make it in Arabic why we make it in Arabic to make it in order to make it clear look like it's still not, it's still not clear for Muslims so Allah uh, it's... so Allah he failed to make his Arabic clear to you and this is additional proof that the Quran can't be from God because you just said I need to read the interpretation why because the Quran in Arabic is not clear for you and you are an Arab now that's because one Arabic word can have uh, different meanings. It multiple doesn't matter. Meanings. Still, you actually you even you, you, you now you make it more horrible. So your God is using wrong language, wrong word because there is many meaning, and now he's confusing us more. So why in the Quran he says we made it in Arabic language so it make it clear? So obviously the Arabic language does not make it clear. It make it more confusing. Correct. Give me one more. I'm I'm still uh, I'm reading the verse, trying to understand it. No problem. The Quran, chapter twelve, verse number two. It says, "Verily, we have sent you down in Arabic, Quran, in order that you may understand." And obviously, you may understand not, even though you are an Arab and you speak Arabic very well, but still, you have no idea what the Quran is saying, and you are getting confused. So Allah is a very bad person in Arabic. His Arabic is very, is like a Pakistani guy. He went to Saudi Arabia and he learned to say two words like Sadiq. And Allah now is <laughs> using the word Sadiq. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> I like it when Muslims laugh. You know. <laughs> oh, we can show you tafsir in the screen if you want. Now I'm trying. I'm trying to read the previous verses. No problem. Trying, maybe you're trying to get stuff out of context because you do that more, all, all the time. I never do because simply this is your, even your Islamic scholars agree with that. And now, I, I think maybe because uh, 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 Allah is allowing pink because they're poor. Ah. Uh... So, so they need so money to survive. My friend, uh, you see, uh, don't don't be uh, offended now. I'm just uh, being like uh, sarcastic. You are the smartest person ever in the world who call me. So I am poor, but I have tons of slaves. That makes sense. Look like only poor people, they own slaves. Rich people don't have slaves. I mean, come on, only poor people. They are poor, but they have tons of slaves and they are beautiful girls. You see how poor they are? Well, a poor person, he can't even feed himself. So how he owns slaves? How you are poor, yet you own a human being, not cows. It's not a cow. It's not a donkey. You own humans. So how poor you are, yet you own many maids, 
maids, slaves. Yeah, but it's not actually pimp. They they're not actually prostitute. They um, they get arranged marriage. What arranged marriage? It says al bagha You speak Arabic. Suddenly now you don't know Arabic. Does it say al bagha What al bagha mean? Even your Muslim translation says, "Force not your your maids into prostitution." Ahmad, come on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Okay, thank you very much. So Islam allow you to be to work as a pimp, but for sure you are a nice person. You're a good man. You will not do that, correct, Ahmad? Yeah. Okay, so you are better than Allah. Yeah, that's true. But okay, let me tell you one okay, thing. Okay, hold on. Though. Okay, just did you just say that's true? So you agree that Allah is a bad person? You just said you are better than Allah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm I'm saying you gotta look into the tafsir because this could be. My friend, uh, we can look at the tafsir. No was... problem. You know, you speak Arabic. It is no tafsir. I mean, it's easy. Look at the tafsir. Open the book and read it. It's the same. And you you know, and you agreed. This is about and it's very so clear. You know, if you force them, Allah is all merciful. There's no penalty in Islam for, for a prostitution. There's no penalty. Not a single time. You can use your slaves as you wish. And you are the one who said to me right away, oh yeah, because they are slaves. So we can use them and abuse them. And here, because the Muslim women... Yeah, start but only for sex. Yes, or for sex. But this is what prostitution is about. Those women, they are not going to teach in school. They are just opening their their legs. What do you mean only for sex? So, suppose this is better now? This is their job. Their job is only for sex. Thank you very much. So your God himself is a pimp because the one who allow you to be a pimp, he must be a pimp. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with, what's wrong with God is a pimp? You, are, you agree that your God is a pimp and you are saying what's wrong with that? I'm saying like like it, uh, God is trying to satisfy our desire. What's wrong with that? Well, thank you very much. So you see, why you say to me, I said to you, what is the proof that Islam is from God? You said to me, Islam forbid every bad things. I said like what? You said like uh, uh, for, uh, adultery, fornication, etc. But you now you agreed that your God, Allah, He care for satisfying our sexual needs by promoting prostitution and opening a pimp house and making temporarily uh, uh, sex contracts. So you you know your 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 prophet and your God, they are from the red flags uh, family. You know they have red flag. The Arab in the in the old days in the time of Muhammad, they used to have red flag. If the woman she is prostitute, she have a red flag in the top of her house, so the customers will know. So your God, Allah Himself, His house have a red flag. Incorrect, man. That's incorrect. Okay, that's the correct. So why you don't even Islam, Ahmad? Uh, you accept yourself. I mean, I, I, I'm sure you are a person of honor. You don't accept such a, th such a thing. Do you accept yourself that with my respect to your family, you know, that your family, any member of your family, I'm not trying to insult. Please care for it. I'm not trying to insult. Do you do you accept any of member of your family, your father, your brother, your sister, your mother, your sister? They do any of this practice? No, of course not. So why you don't leave Islam, my friend? Yeah, but this... But, but these are not happening to Muslim women. These are happening to slaves, Christians, but, but, and Jews. But, but, but doesn't change anything. That's mean you are a rapist. That's mean you are a pimp at the end of the day. And not only that, who said that the slaves are not necessarily Muslims? Because many of them, they convert to Islam. Isn't it Bilal was a slave too? Bilal, yeah, he was a slave. Okay, so Muslims own, uh, own Muslim slaves. So there's a slaves who they are Muslims. So are you saying now to me that like if I kidnap a Muslim woman and I force him into slavery to be sex a slave, is okay just because she is not Christian? Is that your ethic? No. Well, this is what you said That's... to me. You said to me just because they are not Muslims, so we can rape them. We can make them sex slaves. We can force them to prostitution. You just agreed on that. I'm saying maybe this verse was revealed at that time. For sure, it's revealed at that time, to, yeah, Ahmad. Yeah, Come on, uh, my, my uh, friend. Uh, uh, my only at that time. My it's friend. Not
my friend. Man for today. Everything revealed at that time, and you Muslims, you claim that the Quran fit for all times. No, no, it doesn't, because Muta, Muta doesn't. Muta was uh, was only practiced uh, during uh, the Prophet's lifetime. It's no, not I can anymore. show you a hadith where Muhammad he practiced it during his life, and then Omar practiced it after his death, and ever all the caliphate they practice it. Uh, if that was the case, then how come people, uh, how come uh, the the scholars and sheikh have uh, forbidden muta? Because they say that the prophet he allowed, he forbid it, he allowed it, he forbid it, he allowed it, he forbid it. But this is in the hadith, and the hadith is a, uh, how you Muslims you take a hadith against the Quran. Which one is your God? Is it hadith book or the book of God, which is supposed to the Quran? Which one you follow? There's no verse in the Quran says don't do muta. Correct. The chapter of the muta in the Quran is chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Yeah, yeah, I know. But when that verse was revealed, it was during um, a certain uh, specific time. No problem. Did Allah reveal a but, verse against it? Did Allah reveal a verse says don't do muta no more? Uh, no. Okay. Did Allah forget or forgot? Oh. Uh, so this is not but God. The, I, you see, this yeah, God is the, this God is not God, the, my, yeah, my friend. This, this God is it. this God is not God because. If if the one who will fix Allah mistakes is Muhammad, that means your God is Muhammad, not Allah. And the Quran says that you know the, the one who take beside Allah Lords, he is a mushrik. No, that's not correct. That's who, not true. who is your Lord, Allah or Muhammad? L l uh, l uh, look, whatever the Prophet says yeah? comes from God. So whatever okay. he says, Thank you whatever, he, okay, whatever comes from his mouth okay, wonderful. is wonderful. the word of God. Show me where it says that whatever comes from the mouth of Muhammad is the word of Allah. Because if it's a word of Allah, it has to be a Quran. What comes from the mouth of Muhammad is the Quran as the word of Allah. Even Muhammad himself, and you are a Muslim Sunni, he said, anything else beside the Quran, erase it. Is that correct? Anything besides the Quran, erase it. Erase it, yeah, which means the hadith. Muhammad, you don't want you to write the hadith. Read carefully. This is the, the hadith in front of us on the screen. It says, don't take down anything from me. And he who took down anything from me except the Quran, he should efface. Do you see it? Efface that. So you Muslims should not follow the, Quran, the hadith. You should follow you should not you, you focus on the Quran Muhammad you don't want anything to be written except the Quran based on this hadith based on this hadith but Islam cannot be exist without the hadith so Muslim they have to follow because there's contradiction and the Quran says you have to obey Allah and the messenger and the hadith the first verse says the one who obey the messenger I got obey you Allah. busted I got you busted huh. how there is no harm in it no, no harm in what in uh, in writing down on what he's saying, narrating uh, narrating what uh, the prophet where, is saying. Where it says no harm. What does that mean? Harm, no harm in it. Where is this says? Look at that. Look, uh, do not take down anything from me, and uh. he who took down anything from me except the Quran. Yeah. He should efface that and and narrate from me, for there is no yeah. harm yeah. in it. Yeah. No, it says this is you see you're just in, uh, you are reading the English. No harm in it. It says, Wala haraja. Don't be. Haraja. Wala haraj. You see the word haraj, you speak Arabic. Wala yeah. haraj, which means there's no problem. Don't be. Don't worry about erasing. There's no harm. Nobody will harm you. I'm giving the order. So, wala haraj. Woman kadiba alay. You know, the one who would lie about what I say, let him sit in a, in a, in a, in a chair of fire, which means in hell time. So, there's no harm in you, which means God will not punish you. That's all. How you got me busted, my friend? You got yourself busted. Can you just go down and see if the uh, the hadith is... Uh, well, this is Sahih authentic? Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. But how can I be sure it's Sahih Muslim? It says there in front of you. It says Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 3004. Hadith number... 3004. If you want to read it from right to left, it's 4003. Sorry, can you say the hadith number three zero zero four? All right, Sahih Muslim, that. Sahih Muslim. Give me one moment. And my friend, I'm showing you this is Sunnah.com. This is your Muslim Sunni website, Sunnah.com. Do you see it? 
sunnah.com. So don't worry about it. I mean, I mean, you see, it's regarded. People will laugh at me if I'm lying. You, you, you yourself, you will laugh. You will spit at me if I'm lying. You know, I mean, come on. This is your Muslim website. This is your translation. That's all right. I'll, I'll get you past it. Oh, still you insist. And then now we are 10 to 0. <laughs> I got you busted about muta, fornication, adultery, and, uh, uh, and, and prostitution. And now we will go here. You know, you are saying that you follow your prophet, you don't follow Allah. Because the prophet is, whatever he speak, he speak for Allah. Look, if... Look, listen, if Islam is not the truth, yeah. then why is there a mass conversion? Like, for example, look at the example of Andrew Tate. He was a billionaire he's with a, a lot of girls. He's a pimp. He heard me saying what we heard, what, what we said today, that you can be a Muslim pimp. In Christianity, he will go to hell. In Islam, he is a good guy. So he like it because he's a pimp. That's why it's attractive. You know, this guy is a pimp. What do you expect? This guy... The, 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 the clothes he is wearing, the jacket he is wearing, the pants he is wearing, the shoes he is wearing, the socks he is wearing, the watch he is wearing, and the phone he is holding is from the sweat of the vagina. I mean, how aren't you ashamed, Ahmad, to be proud about such a person, honestly? He's a pimp. Do you, know that, the, do you, know, do you know that this guy, he said the F word to the Quran? He said the F Who? Quran, the F book. We don't follow Who the said? F in book. We'll go watch the video. Who said that, Andrew Tate? Him, yeah. Yeah, but that was before he converted. No, no, this he is one. No, he's, he's speaking about how amazing the Islam. He's a he's a Muslim. The if in word, okay. So uh, this is what he is. He liked the Quran because he's saying to the Muslims because you are not following the if in book. You are not following the if Allah. You are not following the if in prophet. He is rebuking the Muslims. So this is your this is your teacher. This is your master now. But anyway, he is like Muhammad. Muhammad was a pimp too. How was he a pimp? Well, uh, no. When, uh, okay, hold on. When, when, uh, you are okay. Is uh, who is the one who allow you to have sex slave to work as a pimp? You're a prophet, so he must be a pimp too. Where where you got your license from? You see every. Every business, like as an example, there is a there is an organization, uh, or let us say a, a place, uh, an office, where you got your license to work as a teacher, correct? There's a place where you got your license to work as an engineer. So who is the one who gave you the license to be a pimp? Muhammad. In order to be in a specialty of pimping business, he have to be a pimp too. And as long as he agree with it, that's mean he is against our God. But he is agreeing with your God because you have a God who is a pimp. Isn't it your God? He gave you a promise of a lot of women to have sex with them in heaven. Yeah, what's wrong with that? That's a pimp Marsh too. That's a pimp. Mar what is pimp? Pimp is someone he promised a, 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 a one man, uh, uh, come to my house. I have a pimp uh, house. You, you, okay. you, and many okay. women. Can I can I say something? Say something. Go ahead. At least, at least our heaven is not boring. Your heaven, all you do for eternity is, is just sing, sing songs. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, let us let us go. Okay. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see how boring it is. Your prophet, he promised you uh, that your penis will be endless. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Okay. Let us see how boring it is now and how not how fun. So your wife is next to you and your penis is going to the seven galaxies. Who is the one now is suffering? <laughs> You are the one who said that. So how 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 is stupid is this statement, Ahmad? I'm not trying to insult you, but you see, my heaven is boring. We are singing, so we are singing, laughing at you. You have a penis. You are chasing your penis now. You want to have sex, but you cannot catch it because it's keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. So Ahmad in Iraq and his penis now in Brazil, going to Argentina, and then go in the sea and go on the Amazon River, and those little fish they start chewing in it and biting it, and the ants. And the mosquitoes. So, what kind of religion this religion is? I mean, what kind of a prophet? He promised you endless penis, and you are saying to me, "What's wrong with that? Don't you see so, that some this is something stupid there?" The prophet didn't promise us endless penis. He promised us in in Jannah we can have anything we want, any, anything we desire. My friend, what if I show you the reference that your prophet he promised you endless penis? But it's a it's a weak hadith because how can I, how can that even work? Endless penis. Okay, how it can work? How it's weak hadith? I mean, okay, what is weak hadith? 
uh, we, hadith. Uh, yeah. It's just like it's not an authentic one. It's not. It's like so. You are saying Jewish. to me. You are saying to me that we Muslims we lie about what the Prophet said. Of course, because there's a lot of enemies of Islam. But you are saying. Example, but who yourself. is the one who wrote it? The Muslims. Not all Muslims are Muslims. Some of them are disguised ah, as Jews. Not all Muslims are Muslims. All right. But those are the Some scholars. Are disguised as but Jews. those, but those are the scholars. You know, I'm happy that. What do you mean no? What, what do you mean no? Who is the one who wrote those hadith? The scholars. Okay, okay, okay. Let's read the hadith. Uh, pull it up. All right. Give me a second. But I'm happy. At least in our heaven, we can have anything with desire. But in your heaven, all you do is sing songs for eternity. Don't you get bored singing well, songs? Well, no, we will not be. Who said we will be singing song? Where you get this from? We are going to be living with the glory of the Lord, and His glory cannot be compared. Who is the one who gave us all the joy in our life? Who is the one? You said you said songs, right? Who is the one who gave you the joy of music? God. Who is the one who gave you the joy of uh, food? God. All the joy you have is from God. So you are saying that God who gave us all joys, he cannot give us better joy than prostitution and sex. And but it's not sex. It's sex with huris. It's sex. It's sex. What uh, you know, sex with huris? It's sex. It's yeah, sex. What's wrong with that? Yeah, so you know, what, what do you mean? What's what's wrong? You keep saying to me, What's wrong with that? You're in heaven, you can do whatever you like. There is no sin in heaven. Uh, are, are, did you call me before? What's that? Did you call me before? No, because this is the same statement I heard from a Muslim before saying exactly the same thing that there is no sin in heaven. Yeah, because you can't sin in heaven. Everyone's sinless. Exactly. No, that's, no, that's no. You said there is no sin in heaven. What, what? So, so in heaven, you can have uh, you can have sex with your mother. You can have sex no, with you your can't. sister. No, you can't because why? Uh, because, like, for example. Um, okay. What What is your sex? You, you, can't, you, can't, uh, Ahmad, do, Ahmad. you can't do evil work. You can't do evil things. Ahmad, like, Ahmad, like what, for example, what you, is your sect? What is your sect? Uh, Hambali. I'm, I'm Sunni. Humbly, okay. What if I show you that if a person, a Muslim person, he had sex with his mother or even his daughter, especially the daughter from adultery, it's okay. Not in heaven, here in earth. Can you can, uh, can you uh, block the chat because they're being really disrespectful about the prophet? Don't look, uh, you know, we, we don't, you, you know, Ahmad, here we don't respect your prophet. Nobody respected. What? Yeah, nobody respected. Don't look at the chat. Over, over, over don't look at. Don't look. Don't look at the chat. You don't respect us too. You make fun of us. You are calling me names. Oh. You, you uh, call me uh, names. Uh, you just I, made fun of me. You said, uh, you know, your heaven is boring, etc. Blah 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 blah. So I did not complain. So you are you are you're calling Christian Prince. I don't respect your prophet. Your prophet is a pervert. This what I'm. The whole conversation is about your prophet being a pimp, and now you get upset, and you agreed. If I say to you now, your prophet have sex with a child, can you can you refuse to say that your prophet is a pedophile? No, he's not a pedophile. So what what pedophile mean? Explain to me with a file. At that time, at that time, you, you gotta look at things at context. Okay, so you are saying time, to me, 90s, so you are saying to me, at that time, your prophet was pedophile. At that time. No, I'm saying at that time it was it was normal. If it wasn't normal or if it was a disgusting right. thing, no, the hold Arabs on. okay, would, hold on, hold on. The Arabs would have done hold something, on. or they would okay, have wrote it down. Wait, wait, uh, why, why, <laughs> am, why a man, uh, why, a, why a man at that time at the age of 54, he go after a girl she is six years old at that time? What that's he, because uh, what that's he because see? he wanted. That's that's because he wanted to uh, bond the uh, the Muslims together. What uh, Abu Bakr is already a Muslim. He believe in him. He's following him. You do not need to sleep with his daughter. And he have other daughter, an older daughter. Why he did not go for the old one? Why he took the child? 
She's, she's not a child. She's nine she's six years old. old. That, she's six years that, that, old. She is six years old. Yeah, she's six. But uh, he he uh, he consummated the marriage when she was nine. But he married her. Okay, from six to nine, he was molesting her from six to nine. Because she could no. not, you know, this is mean. It was his private decision, not his, not in his God telling him at nine. He he could not do it when she is six. She, she will die. He will kill her. So he he was molesting her until she is a little bit bigger, and then he he, he raped her. It says he married her. He yeah. married her. Listen, he married her, not engaged. He married her at the age of six. So okay, listen. at the age of don't six, you, she she was his listen. wife. Don't you don't you think if the prophet did anything wrong to Aisha, uh, she would have wrote it in hadith and would have said something? Uh, okay, well Aisha, she said many things about uh, the Muhammad. You see, as an example, uh, but Aisha, Aisha has never said anything bad about him. You want to bet? Yeah, let's bet. Okay. Hmm. Read with me this hadith. I will put it for you on screen. When he made the verses about any woman she can offer herself to the prophet you know that right your prophet he made verses about what about women they can offer themselves so he can sleep with them he can f them no oh. yeah in the quran we will go for that then but your your prophet wife she said to muhammad i see that your lord he has in for your sexual desire read with me carefully Aisha, she said Being jealous of women who offer themselves to God messenger, I ask, does a woman offer herself, which means a woman have an honor, only, only hookers, they do that. Okay. Then, uh, do you have that on the screen? I can't see it. You will see it. It's going to come to you. Then when God, the Most High, sent down, you may defer any of them you wish and take yourself any you wish. And if you desire, you have set aside, no sin is it chargeable to you. Quran chapter 33 verse 51 said, it's, she said to Muhammad, it seemed to me that your Lord has to satisfy your desire. Do you see it? Yeah, uh, Allah will do anything for Muhammad. Exactly. For Muhammad. What exactly he will do? He make him officially a big pimp and he make a verses for him that muslim women they can offer themselves so they can sleep with the prophet and Aisha she said huh it looked like your god he is just rushing to satisfy your penis desire astaghfirullah astaghfirullah it's in front of you and you agreed and you just said to me yes the prophet allah he will not hesitate to do anything for him to do what to do what? The guy already have 13 wives. Why he need more women? What does this have to do with God? When I asked you why he took Aisha, she said to make bond between Muslims, but those are just women. Oh, they are Muslims already. Any believing women, she offer herself to the Prophet. To do what? To sleep with her. What does this have to do with God? What does this have to do with serving the religion? How that will serve anything? Women now, they are lying up in the front of Muhammad house. They want to sleep with him. Why? Because if they sleep with him, they will have a free food forever. They will have a free housing because now they are the women of the prophet. They are his, his mistress. So you're a prophet making verses about his sexual desire is additional proof that he is a false prophet. All cult leaders, they share two things. They want your money and your, your women. Okay, if he was a cult leader... How come he he lived a poor life? How, how come he what lived poor a life? humble You're, life? What poor life? He lived the the wife, my life. friend. What are you talking about? The 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 uh, 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 your prophet. He is the have the fifth of every booty. What fifth life? The, how many slaves Muhammad you have? How you are poor and how you can feed all those slaves? Imagine I have now ten a slave or servant. I don't want to call him slave servant in my house. That's mean I have to have 10 rooms and I have to have a lot of food for them. I cannot afford it. Even if the people now come to me and say, I want to be your servant. I cannot support this person. You have to be rich. You are fooling he yourself. A, he take the fifth of the no, booty. that's not no, true. No, listen, the listen. Prophet, he was a poor man. Okay, he he was, was only eating dates and breads. He was what? 
He was only eating dates and bread. This is the only thing they have, date and bread and meat. What they have in Saudi Arabia, banana? Like, do, you, do you think he go outside in the in the yard and he get a coconut? What's wrong with you? You know, they have an only limited kind of food. You know, is either a date or uh, or 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 milk or uh, or or the goat meat. You know, that's it. And your prophet he died. By the way, was I was eating a goat, not a chicken, because there's no chicken. This is the proof that your prophet was a good guy. You are, you are, you are, you are, you know, you are asking yourself a very simple question. Oh, you know what? I am going to believe in Muhammad. Why? I will give a question. This is the question. Oh, now I have the answer. He was poor. Where, where do you get that he was poor? All of this is fabricated. The Muslim, they say that Muhammad, before he died, he borrowed, an, uh, like he, he borrowed money from, uh, from a Jewish guy next to him. When Muhammad died, there's no Jews. He killed them all. <laughs> it's a fabricated story. So, my friend, why, yeah, why, why God? God, why God, <laughs> why God? When I make a verse saying, any woman she give her, she want to give herself to Muhammad to effort. And you said to me, yes, Allah will not hesitate to do that to Muhammad. Why Allah want to do Let that? Okay, can I explain? All right. Uh, what I think this is is like, for example, like if a girl, like if a woman, she's a, she's a widow hmm. or she's poor or she can't look after herself, she will offer herself to the prophet. Uh, so now the prophet, he will he will have he will, uh, all of them. They are widows, right? But he did not say a widow. He said any believing women, she like to offer herself to the prophet. Believing, not a widow. Secondly, yeah, believing, secondly, yeah, believing, secondly, secondly, secondly. Yeah. Can you, as a Muslim, have the same privilege, or this is only privilege for Muhammad? This is only the privilege for the Prophet. Why? I thought you want to help the widows now. How how many you, widows, you, Muhammad? You can, yeah, how many can, widows? Can, how many widows? Look look at look at your agenda. How funny it is, Ahmad. How many widows, Muhammad? He can have, and there is nobody speaking about. But what they say it's uh, it was widows. What about the all the Muslims that do that to the widows? But Muhammad but has unlimited. That, uh, Muhammad have unlimited numbers of women. There's no limit. Yeah. Okay. Why you don't have unlimited too? Is isn't he a Muslim like you? Is he above Islam? He's a he's the last prophet. He's the last so messenger. So what? A last prophet, but you don't follow his religion. Muhammad don't follow his religion. His religion says you can marry only four. What kind of a prophet? He is the last one to follow what he say. He is above. He's above Allah, you know, exactly. He no, is, he's your not God. Above Allah. Muhammad, above he makes. The... So you see what now? What happened now? You prove to us that Muhammad is above Islam, above Allah, and he is the one who live as he wish. He fabricate his own law, and you Muslims, you have different law. So Muhammad have a law. You don't have the same law. So you have two religion. You have Islam for Muhammad and Islam for Muslims. Islam for Muhammad and limited sex and limited women and limited money. And limited everything. He have no even he can he can break the oath, he can lie, he can even have sex with his own wife's son. What do you think about a person? He go to his wife, the son of his wife, uh, sorry, the wife of his son, and he flirt with her when the husband was not there. Uh, so he, he flirted with his wife's son. He, uh, the prophet didn't have any son. He have Zaid. Uh, uh, he's an adopted son. Exactly, doesn't matter. Actually, that's what make it even more horrible, because if horrible. I, yeah, because if I adopted you and I consider you my son, and then I betray you, I go to your house because I adopted that just, you. That just shows his good character. That just shows what a good character he has no, to adopt. No, that shows kids. that he that shows that he adopted this person so he can marry him to that girl so he can sleep with her and the uh, wives will not complain why he is going there or even no, the that's neighbors that's what you think that's what you think no it's not what i think this is what happened did he did he flirt with the wife when the husband was not there not flirted but uh, he loved her and and that was after they got what divorced. if i show you the the proof you said he did not the, 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 the you, proof you said what? you said he did not flirt. What if I show you the proof? The proof of what? That he, uh... that he flirt. And this is your story. And I believe he slept with her already. Not only no, he, he flirt. 
He didn't sleep. He didn't sleep with her. Okay. Do, so, but do you accept that he flirted or now? No, he didn't flirt. No, he didn't. He didn't. So, what if I show you the, you know, the reference? What you would do? If I show you the reference in the front, if I show you the reference in the front of everybody, in front of your eyes, what you would do? You you promise me to leave Islam if this is true? Listen, the prophet, like, you don't know what's in his mind. Like, like some words, well, like you you're, can't. You're a prophet. There's nothing in his mind because his mind is between his legs. He go to the wife when the husband is not there, and he flirt with the wife even though she is married and she is married to who she is married to his adopted son and why he's alone in the house with the women because simply this is adopted son so he's like a father going inside the house when the husband is not there so he allow himself to enter the house flirt with the wife and speaking to her so she can hear it not in his heart he made her hear it What say you? If your father, he came to your house, with my respect to your father, and he flirted with your wife when you are not there. Yeah, but that's not his son. That's his adopted son. Doesn't matter. And, Doesn't matter. And, let, and, us say, he, let us say, he, let us say, let us say, he, let us say, let us say, so a, not... let us say you have a cousin. Let us say you have yeah. a friend. And okay, he comes to your, a friend. Okay. okay, a friend. He okay. comes to your house and he flirts with your wife. He flirted you, with my wife. Yeah, okay. what do you think about that? Give me, let's, let's see how much honor you have. He what did he say to my wife? What, like, how did he flirt? Uh, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. How is that flirt? He just said to her, he, he he, you, he, are, just, you are the one who said just to, to me, he loved her. You said that, he right? He loved her. Okay, He's, he just said to her, Subhanallah, which means the one who made my heart flip for you. He's flirting with her. Yeah, he loved her. Doesn't mean he was. But he is loving. He is loving a married woman. She is married. She have a husband. He's in her house. So what? <laughs> so you are saying to me, if I go to your house, and you are married, and I flirt with your wife, and your wife she like it, and your wife she tell you that CP he was here and he told me that he like me, you have no problem with it. So what? No, I do have a problem. I would just say you two stop seeing like you're not allowed to come over anymore. You're not allowed to visit. How come you? So how come it's okay for Muhammad to do it, but it's not allowed for me? Because you're CP and he's the prophet. So if I change my name to Muhammad, I can come to your house and flirt with your wife. He was not. He was not um, flirting. He was just saying that. Uh, he was amazed by her beauty because ah, she was really so he white. Is not a flirting. He she is looking white. at he's looking at her ass. He like her ass. Wow, you have a nice ass, the wife of my son. Mashallah, mashallah. Your ass is so beautiful. It's round, it's round like my table. So you are saying to us, look, guys, did you see? He was amazed with her beauty. A woman she is married, and this is the decent prophet. He go to a married wife in the in the house of the husband. It doesn't matter who is this husband. And he flirted with the wife, and he made her hear him. And not only that, is it true that Zaid, at that night when he come home, he tried to sleep with Zainab, and then his penis is swell. I don't know about that. What if we prove it? That this is a miracle of Allah. He made the penis of Zaid swell because the Prophet he wished to have sex with Zainab. So Allah will not allow a husband to sleep with her no more. So the guy, he take off his pant. His wife, she is laying down. She, you know, ready for the position. The guy, he try to touch it. Whoa, you know, they start screaming because his penis is swelled from pain. This is a miracle of the Prophet of Allah and his God. The husband penis is swell. What if I show you the proof? I don't think... Uh... It's, I think I, th I think I heard uh, I read this before. It's a weak hadith. I'm sorry. It's not a weak hadith. It's... First of all, no, it's not. And this is Tafsir al-Qurtubi. Anything is embarrassing. The Muslim they say weak hadith. 
my friend you are weak your prophet is weak your god is weak and his penis is weak and by the way he was not able to sleep with her but look at this oh, okay. okay okay if my god is weak why all right hold on hold on Re the read, world? read with me read with me he conquered nothing he conquered nothing he died like a rat and then the muslim after that they start and not only the muslim the arab the muslims who they are not muslims those that jankees khan and the, the tatar and you know those who came and they conquer islam anyway and they use islam again to conquer more but it's not the, the prophet look, look what's the prophet conquered Europe. nobody my friend the prophet he just controlled the arabian peninsula and when he went to attack the roman he lost and he came back let us focus here read with me it says here fi baad al riwayat anna zaydan tawarrama dhalika minhu hina arada an yaqrubha what do you think it says here qalat zainab amsa zayd so the guy the husband he came to have sex with the wife Zainab but he could not Zaid, Zainab she said he could not do it because Allah forbid him from doing it he, he, yeah. he, he forced him not to do it how she explained she said and Zaydan tawarrama dhalika minhu so the second he started to get close to her, when he got close to her, his penis, you know, swell. He would stay away. His penis go back normal. What do you think about this miracle? It's a miracle. Okay. Have you ever think about the miracle of why you don't Muslims make a why you don't promise me, Ahmad, to make a video about how Allah made the penis swell? Miracle. Call it miracle. The penis swell miracle. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. What's Allah? You just said it's a miracle. Isn't it you? And why Allah don't want a man who is married to a woman to sleep with his wife? Why? Just because the Prophet he flirted with her? And this is Tafsir al Qurtubi in the front of you, and this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia. Page number 423. Listen. Hmm. Have you, nothing... Listen, 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 listen. Uh, do you think there is a relationship between the penis swell of Zaid and sexual disease? I'm thinking of a different case. I think Zainab, she has a sexual disease. Otherwise, why in the world this guy his penis swell? Do you think really Allah will make the penis of the husband swell just because Muhammad he liked the woman? Allah can do all things. Allah, he can do nothing. Here we go. The man, he want to have sex with her. He made his penis as well, but still he can use his mouth. He can use his fingers. He can use his legs. He can use his hands. There's many things he can do. What penis as well? You know, so what? Still all the parts is working. She's in his bed. She take off her panty. So what kind of God is God? You know, while Jesus was making the blind see, your God making the penis swell? That is a miracle of God? Why you are laughing this? What it's you, you just agreed. Well while Jesus was doing those miracles, he was doing it through the power of God. He wasn't okay. doing it on so his the own. power of let us say the, the power of God, let us compare. So Jesus, according to you, he was doing it from the power of God. Muhammad the power of the God of Muhammad is to go to the house of the husband when he is not there and he flirt with the wife and then make the penis of the husband swell. This is the prophet miracle. Correct? The true miracle is the Quran. The Quran is true miracle? Yep. Okay, you speak that's, Arabic. That's the biggest miracle. Okay, you speak Arabic, right? That's the biggest miracle. All right, this is the biggest miracle. Let us see how big it is. Where hell is coming from, Ahmad? It is better than any other where, miracles. Where hell, where hell coming from? Hell? Where hell coming from, hell? Uh, I have no idea. You don't know where hell coming from? It's not, in, it's, 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 it's in a different dimension. You don't know where hell coming from? You never heard where hell coming from? No. Uh, what is your education, Ahmad? I'm not a scholar. I know, I know, but did you go to school? Like, do you have high school? Do you have a degree? Anything? 
Yes, I, I finished it. I got my, my bachelor degrees. You have a bachelor degree, but you do not know how the hail is made. He, like you mean hail or hail, or hail, hail, the... like the ice, the ice from the sky. Hail. Oh, oh, hail! Sorry, sorry. I thought you meant heaven and hell. No, sorry, no, I not you hell. Meant hail, and hell. hail, yeah, hail. Hell. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. Yeah. Okay. So where hail okay. is coming from? Uh, it's from the sky, from the clouds. Okay. Is it true there is mountains in the sky, and Allah He break hail from it? If uh, is it true what? There is mountains flying in the sky, mountain of ice, and Allah break from them hail. Uh, no. Mm. What if I show you that this is what it says? You speak Arabic, you have no excuse. This is chapter 24, verse number 43. And remember, you are the one who says to hold me. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chapter 24, verse 43. 43. Alright, what's wrong with that chap? What's wrong with that particular it says, verse? It says, "Wa min min He sent down from the sky, from mountains in it, from hail to hit with it. Where the hail coming from? From the mountains, which is in the sky. It's a metaphor for heaven. It's a metaphor. Uh, hold on. Where is the word metaphor? Metaphor for what? It says Jibal. Jibal is a metaphor now. Jibal means mountains. Yeah, I know, but the mountain is a metaphor for heaven. Okay, uh, how you know it's a metaphor? How you can confirm it's a metaphor? I, I have no problem. How you can confirm it's a metaphor? You know, I'm, I'm reading it and I'll, and I'll explain it to you. But do, I think do you, you have. What, do you do you like to read the the tafsir? Uh, uh, okay, yeah, pull up the tafsir. Okay, here we go. What tafsir you like? Don't tell me Ibn Kathir, please. Ibn Kathir is good for me. It's good for you. Are you sure? Yep. Oh. Well, I, I wanted to show you other one, but uh, sadly you chose Ibn Kathir, which I don't like really. But I will go to Ibn Kathir. But remember, you are the one who chose it now. Chapter 24, verse number 43. Just like how the Bible has metaphors and 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 okay, life, okay. Uh, well, stuff like know, that, my friend. So you're telling me you're, so, you're telling me the Bible doesn't have metaphors? My friend, just wait. You said you accept. You, Ibn, you, you said you, you said you said you said you accept Ibn Kathir, correct? Yes. All right. Everybody heard you. This is your wish. You got what you deserve. You got what you asked Can you for. Block can you block the chat? They're don't, telling me don't I need look, actual Don't things. look at the chat. Don't look at chat. Focus with me. You have a problem here now. You just told me open Ibn Kathir and you like Ibn Kathir. And this is Ibn Kathir. Read with me. It says here, from men, this is men in Arabic, and uh, of men, ice means there are mountains of hail in the sky which Allah sent down ice. And you said to me, you accept Ibn Kathir. And I told you, please don't ask me for Ibn Kathir. Please don't. You said, no, Ibn Kathir is good for me. I said, please don't. You said, no, no, Ibn Kathir is good for me. I said, I don't like Ibn Kathir. You said, no, Ibn Kathir is good for me. So this is Ibn Kathir. is saying that mean there are mountains of hell in heaven. You see it? Mean there are mountains of hell in the sky which Allah, he sent down ice from it. So why you said to me it's a metaphor when the fact look, it's not? This is Ibn Kathir. This is your friend Ibn Kathir. Yeah, I know. But look, if you're continuing reading Ibn Kathir, he agrees with me. As for those who say that mountains here is used as metaphor or uh, cloud. Uh, it's, no, it says here, as for those who say that oh, yeah. mountain here is used for metaphor, they think that the second men is also you to describe, but he's saying they are wrong. <laughs> he's saying there's some they say that, but they are wrong. He is giving you the meaning. The meaning is no, he sent 
eyes from mountains in heaven. But those who say it's a metaphor, well, they are wrong, they are dummy, they are stupid. And Allah knows best. And the Arabic is so clear. And you speak Arabic. How it can be? So Muslim, they try to fix it. They make it more blind. We can open Al Qurtubi. We can open a Jalalain. Okay, open Jalalain. Okay, so Jalalain now is better than Ibn Kathir? Not better, but uh, he may have a, a different opinion. All right, let us see. He have different opinions. So Islam is religion of opinion. How you can follow this religion if you do not know except opinion so everybody give his opinion right okay read here we go this is a jalalain and this one you said okay open a jalalain it says he sent down from the heaven out of mountains min jibalin min extra therein so he sent what he sent from the sky from mount of the mountain out of the mountain Do you see it let me zoom in you see it so he is confirming the same. So Allah He sent down out of mountains, He sent hail. He sent hail and He submit at the one He don't like. All right, no problem. What do you mean, no problem? You have to leave Islam no now. You just told me that I'm going to copy this down. I'm going to copy this down and I'll give it to him. What do you mean you want to copy this one? It's in front of you, Ahmad. You be honest oh, with yeah. me. You know, either either this is coming from God or this is coming from a scam. What kind of God he says uh, such a thing? What if I give you the biggest proof of Islam? What is that? Destroy me. Hit me. Okay. Let me just, before Hold I tell on. you. I don't tell me. Don't tell me. First. Can I Guys, copy this down? Don't tell I me. I want to copy this down. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't, don't, tell me don't, tell, don't tell me yet. Don't tell me yet. People, he will give me the biggest, biggest biggest proof of Islam are you ready please invite more people the biggest proof of Islam Ahmad go we are waiting we are excited yeah you you're gonna be excited because all right that, all right let me tell you one of the biggest reasons hmm. is the scientific miracles look what we are showing you now is it this is a scientific miracle <laughs> this is science now he sent down hail from mountains and you are saying to me that the biggest proof of Islam to be from God is scientific miracle what kind of God he think there's a flying mountains in the heaven and he break ice from them <laughs> okay give me a scientific miracle my friend go ahead that's no problem that's look listen he... You gotta read it. It's it's you can't pick uh, pick it out of out of context. I'm you not. I mean? I'm not. I'm reading your Islamic interpretation. This is not me. This I'm, I'm just reading your Islamic interpretation. I did not say anything. In the front of me, in the screen, it says he sent down from heaven out of mountains. It's not me who is saying that. He sent down hail and he submit this hail into the one he don't like. Very simple. So what do you mean I'm taking things out? This is what this is what it says. No problem. What do you mean no problem? What do you mean no, no problem? problem? My friend, hold on. When you keep saying to me no problem, and a second ago you said to me the biggest proof of Islam is the scientific miracles. And then this is, this, isn't it this is science? Isn't it this is science? It could be a metaphor. What metaphor? It could be, it could, what, okay. could be a metaphor. Let me ask you, as long as we are talking about uh, uh, storms, okay, is is the thunder, is the thunder, the lighting, is it electricity? Electricity? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Your Quran says it's an angel. Show me proof. Chapter 13, verse number 13. And don't tell me I'm taking it out of context. Here we go. The, the thunder, this is an angel who is in charge of the cloud, driving them while constantly proclaiming he prays Allah. Do yes. you see it? Yes, that is true. That is the unseen. Can you see the what unseen? What do you mean the unseen? Can you, you, can you see James? So now you can agree. You a, a second ago, I asked you, what is the thunder? You said lighting. Now you agree it's an angel. No, 
I agree with both because this is the unseen. What do you mean you can't... I agree with both? How he is an angel and he is a lighting. I ask you, is he electricity? You said, is it electricity? You said yes. But in your religion, the thunder, Mr. Thunder is an angel. He is in charge of the cloud. He has 70,000 angels in his right side and he has 70,000 angels in the left side. So when he moved his, and they asked the prophet, what about the fire we see? He said, his, this is his fire built. He beat the cloud with it. Yeah, that is true. Nothing is wrong with that. I That's agree. That's true. My friend, you just approved to us that Islam is scientific. Thank you very much. <laughs> but this is the unseen. You can't see the unseen. Can but unseen, see? this is something we see, Abdul. Come on. The thunder is something we see. Stop seeing unseen. We see, we see the yeah, lighting, we, we see, see the we see yeah, the lighting. We see the, yeah. we see the lighting, and the lighting is not an angel. Yep, I know. We mm. can see the lightning coming down and stuff and uh -huh. striking down, uh -huh. but we can't see how, how it's happening. We can't oof, see the oof, 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 oof. Yeah, oof, 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 So oof, a second yes. ago you said to me the biggest proof of the Quran that is a scientific miracle. And now, and I ask you, what is the thunder and the lighting? You said it's electricity. And now the second we show you the Quran saying it's an angel, suddenly you just said, it's, yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. Okay, what? Okay, do women have a sperm? See how I got you busted and you want to change conversation? Exactly. Okay. Oh, no, okay. okay. <laughs> See guys, <laughs> Ahmad, you got me busted. <laughs> That's a good one, Ahmad. You know, oh boy. <laughs> Ahmad, Ahmad, people would die laughing listening at this conversation later. I, I hope your kids one day will grow and you make them watch this video and they would die laughing. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to download this video. Yeah, and promise me, I want you to promise me, you will post it everywhere. Do you promise me? Yeah, I'll post it on Islamic forums. Do you promise me to pro to post it uh, not on the Islamic forum, like you know, like famous ones, Zakarnaik? What do you think about Zakarnaik? Uh, I, uh, I don't really like him. Why you don't like him? He's handsome. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's no, I like the um, Arab scholars, not the Pakistani scholars. You like Arab scholars because they are more idiot. What Arab no, scholars? Because... What, like like who Arab scholar? Name one for me. I never heard of oh. Arab scholar. Like who? Oh, you want to name you one? Uh, Mufti Mink. Mufti Mink is an Arab scholar. This guy is from South Africa. Yeah, he's South Af. He, he was born in South Af Africa. Uh, okay, he's so Arab. He's, he's an Arab. Oh, okay. Oh uh, right. yeah. Okay, so what what about you do this? What about you go to Mufti Mink and ask him if he dare to call me and debate me? He will, he will destroy you in at in the speed of light. Listen, if he destroys you. No, no, hold on. Don't tell me speed of light. In the speed of the angel, Mr. Thunder. <laughs> but, yeah, but that's, okay, that's as long, okay, hold on, hold on. As long he Don't can... you believe in demons? But if you, you tell... You, you, if tell... you Muslim, but demon, demon is not lighting. But I do have to do with lighting. And you Muslim don't have to believe in demon. You don't have demon. You believe in genie. And genie sleep with your women. It's not genie. It's jinn. Genie, genie in English, genie, genie in the ball. You keep saying genie. Like okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. As long as we mention genie, isn't it true that your prophet he was a bunch of black people? They ride your prophet. Astaghfirullah. What if I show you the reference? Sipi, I said, let's be respectful, man. I am. I don't respect your prophet, and you know that from the beginning. I'm talking about your prophet, not about you. So, what if I show you the proof? There is no proof. You gonna... What if I show you the proof Look. in the front of everybody? The chat is being disrespectful. They keep laughing. Don't, you are making excuses. So, do you, maybe you want to hang up and run? I don't care. This is your business. What if I show you the proof right now? That a bunch of African naked men, they were naked, totally naked, wearing no clothing. They were riding your prophet all day long, one after one, and stop to the point your prophet he could not move at the end of the day. We do not know what they were doing when they are, they are in the top of him, but we go by the hadith. The hadith says they were riding him, they rode him. And you say, Astaghfirullah. I say to you, What if I show you the proof? Astaghfirullah. Okay, I'm asking you, do you like me to show you the proof? 
You said to me you are a Hanbali, correct? Yeah. Well, here we go. This is Ibn Hanbal, your master. You follow him. Musnad al Imam Ahmad, Ahmad ibn Hanbal. And you are a Hanbali, which means you are one of his followers. Volume number one, page number 399. The hadith is in the screen. It says here, read carefully. <laughs> okay, he says, uh, How can you hide the chat? Read, read, read. Uh, forget about the chat. Focus with me on the screen. Read with me the, I'm the video. I want to hide the chat because the chat stop is on the, the screen. Chat. I'm you can hide stop the chat it. This is an excuse. You can stop the chat. You can you can exit the chat. Read, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. read with me. It says, yeah, it says, كما قال عفان إن شاء الله ليس عليهم ثياب ولا أرى سؤاتهم طوالا قليل لحمهم قالوا فأت فأتوا فجعلوا يركبون رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وقال وجعل النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقرأ عليهم قال وجعلوا يأتوني فيخيلون ويميلون حولي and then he says continue فارتعبت منهم رعبا شديدا فقال فجلست أو كما قال قال فلما انشق عمود الصبح جعلوا يذهبون وكان وجاء رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ثقيلا وجعا أو يكاد أن يكون وجعا مما ركبوه what they did to him they rode your prophet all day long and they are naked black men you said to me أعوذ بالله and you said to me you are a humbly and this is your master, Ahmad ibn Hanbal. What say you? And I, I will post the link for everybody in the chat. You can use Google translation. You speak in Arabic. You do not need translation. Here we go. You speak Arabic. You have no excuse. They did road your prophet like a donkey all day long. And we do not know what does that mean exactly. I mean, rode him what? They raped him? Until he cannot even move and he have a lot of pain. They keep doing that all day, all night, until the morning. Let me check something. Hmm. Check something. Let me check something. And this is the hadith in English. We are using Google Translation. Muhammad, he came, you know, Muhammad at the end of the day, he was, uh, you know, he was so much in pain because of how much they rode him until the morning. Never stopped. And they were naked men wearing nothing. They don't have a cloth on. They are tall. They have little flesh. They are skinny, very tall. They began to write the message of Allah all day, all night, until the morning. I guess this is a scientific miracle. He hang up. <laughs> he hang up. Ta 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 We guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will have a funeral house open between nine to eleven. Please send your flowers. Our brother Ahmed, he have a heart attack. He could not believe that he's a prophet been rode by a bunch of naked men. Amazing prophet, beautiful. They rode him all day long. And the funny, what make it more funny, he said that he is humbly. He is from the follower of this guy. He cannot deny him. He cannot say, I don't follow him. 
This is Ahmad ibn Hanbal. I asked him, what is your sect? He said, I am Hanbali. They rode his prophet like a donkey. I hope Ahmad is fine. I hope he will take some medicine. I hope he will eat better. He called me, he was excited. He want to get me busted and obviously he did. And now let us begin to ride the messenger of Allah. Who want to take it first? The first round my friend we are victorious by his name his name is Jesus he is the Christ he is the Holy he is our Lord he is our Savior your prophet is a pervert is an idiot is a liar everything about him proven him to be devilish while Jesus he cast demon Muhammad he mean road by whoever who they are, they were riding him all day night. When the demon, they see Jesus, they said to him, what do you want from us, Christ, the Son of God? They knew who is he. He cast him as easy as saying a word. And they jump over the cliff. In the case of your prophet, they were riding him, and he was, it says here, he was reciting for them. He was reciting Quran, but nothing worked. His Quran is not working. He recited to them. His Quran is fake, has no power. I want to say thank you for all of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to invite your friends. If you know a Muslim sheikh, you like to shake him here. Tell him, be the man and challenge Christian Prince. And I guarantee you, he will have heart attack. The same as what happened to our friend Ahmed. Until we see you soon again, I think we have enough for today. Don't forget to download my videos. They are for free. And you can join us in Patreon. It's for free too. Uh, so you can be updated because YouTube sometimes don't send notification for those who like to join us. Uh, if you know anyone, he claimed to be a sheikh or a scholar or something, he claimed to be a big deal, Muslim, with beard, without beard, we take them in any size, any size, any color, any limitation, no limitation, no condition. Challenge the Mohammedan to call and you be the judge and you will see why Islam is lovable why Islam is useless, why they fear your humble brother, Christian Prince. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly for today. Christ is Lord. He is our Savior. In His name, we have victory. In His name, we cast demon. In His name, we cast Muhammad, the evil man. Take care.